You, you've been nothing but a thorn in my side since day one. But I, after yeah, Tokyo, the great and I'll not, ha, be outdone. Welcome to Fan Tokyo Spectacular, the enter in the pound. Please excuse my thespian vernacular when I say thou is going down. I've had enough of you. Thirsty for fun, time to run. Cause now your denouement has already begun. That means you're done. We could both be pirates on the sea. You'll swap the deck and play a part for me. Mops galore, you better keep it clean. Watch out now, my little friend, cause Sharp is looking mean. I've had enough of you. Get to see defeat in epic style. The audience is primed, each attack right on time. Seeing you in twine is so worthwhile. But why stop there at a lion, a bear? What's wrong, my petty chair? Why don't you smile? The final act is sure to be a theatrical plot twist worthy of a prize. Tactical messing with Fan Tokyo is never wise. I've had enough of you.
Praise the song. Um, subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Tosha Babe, what the heck? A timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. Uh, sorry everybody if I miss your messages. We're gonna be sitting here for a little while. Uh, Tosha Babe just gifted 100 subscriptions to the channel. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. We're gonna be here a while, yes. A new subscriber <laughs> arrives. It fills you with Hopefully it's done by the time uh you know the timer's up, a but new you know subscriber <laughs> arrives. It fills you with determination. I think I need to adjust that a setting that posts arrives. in the chat about it the subscriptions and stuff. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. I think, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... It fills you with determination. <laughs> that is just so much! Thank you, Toshime! A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Okay, so praise the sub. The bots are broke. Um, our modest fellowship expands. Praise yeah, the sub. They're, they're very broken. <laughs> our modest fellowship Toast expands. you are crazy, Praise and thank you so much. Seriously, that is definitely one way to uh, start off uh, September. <laughs> our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber Okay, there has arrives. got to be a way to stop this. So we can actually get on. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. One moment. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. 
Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. I'm trying to find a way to uh, Our fix this. Expands. Praise the sub. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Okay, let's try this. Expands. Maybe that'll Praise work. The sub. It actually takes seven seconds. There we go. That works. <laughs> it's not the best option, but it works. So I made it where new alerts will uh, interrupt it after one second. And, uh, you know, we just have to go one second through that to get through it all. Or, 100 seconds. A new subscriber arrived. Ah! I think we got through them all. Leave that option aid enabled just in case these come up again because you know 50 seconds is a lot better you know 100 seconds is a lot better than 10 minutes or such anyways hello everybody welcome to the stream thank you so much for that support Toshime I Really hugely appreciate it. A fantastic way to start off uh, September. Uh, don't forget, guys, September is here, which means all gift subs and new subscriptions are 20% off. Uh, I still get the full support, so it just saves you guys money and still helps me out to the full amount. Uh, so do consider helping out that way. Uh, thank you again for that, Toshime. Uh, we're gonna get started here. Kerr today is playing uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And yeah. Uh, don't forget that you can support the channel by checking out our, uh, by going to patreon.com slash zgfgaming. If you do enjoy the content today, I'd really appreciate the uh, support there. Uh, as well as you can help out by simply sharing the channel around. And of course you can also support by uh, going to our merch store uh, and grabbing some merch. Uh, ZGFGaming.store You'll find links for everything down in the description as well as on our website ZGFGaming.com Now I will start up Stream Raiders. Don't forget to place your troops for that. And turn it over to Kerr in just a moment.
Greetings and bienvenue, our loyal viewers. Good to see everyone again. Headset Coon. Wherefore art thou, Headset Coon? I just told you where it was. I have Headset Coon on. All is right in the world. You didn't say that. How was I supposed to know? How do I actually know if it's on or not? Press and hold the button, and there will be a light. There it goes. Also, you put it on backwards. There we go. <gasps> I am smarter than a headset. Yes, I hear music. Excellent. So, let's get moved on over, everyone. We got a... We got a long stream set for you guys. We're going till 10 today with this game. It shall be glorious! All right, let's load into the game. Boop. Uh, 10 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, so about six hours. Three hours, 12 minutes, or six hours, 12 minutes. I think I forgot to reconnect the box. Oops. We'll handle it when Stream Raiders is done. I don't know if it's gonna still spawn, uh, spam. I'll make my own legend. I'm going to take some time real quick <clears throat> to rest. I can show you guys the camp. What about looting? I already looted everyone. Okay, that's a neat little concept for the camp. So, normally, right now we don't have to worry about this because it hasn't gone into effect yet. This is the camping system right here. So, there's going to be a few extra things that will be added down here later. Um, you can assign people to doing things. Okay, I really like this system. So, camouflage makes it so that you can hide from enemies. It lowers the chance of being found. The protective rituals is something to lower what's called corruption, which we don't have to worry about right now. Um, corruption is basically to make sure that you have to go back to base eventually. Um, Night Watch is if you do get caught, they will raise the alarm so you don't get surprised. And you can add more people as the thing goes on. Um, or change it up. Right now, it's not that big a deal because nothing will happen. So we can start resting. I can Did that say 24 hours? You, but you act like a normal person and a good comrade. How should I know what your goddess considers evil? Maybe I wasn't polite enough to my servants or didn't give enough coins to beggars in the street. So they will have interactions with each other during camping and you can have little fun things. So we'll, once we gather more people to our party, we can actually make food for everyone and we can actually make like scrolls and wands and stuff too. There we go. I figured we should rest though because we're about to go into battle. So, and right now there's no like timers going on to keep track of. As long as we're down here in this training area, it's all good. So, what you're saying is you're metagaming. No. You know that there's a battle coming, thus you're preparing for it. I mean, I could have just used my healing items. It's not that uh, big of a battle. A timely <laughs> reappearance. The dungeon awaits. Serial, thank you very much for that uh, resub. Thank you. We appreciate it. And this is the cool thing they've added too: is everything that we did not pick up from anyone, we can now go back through and we can pick it up now when we leave the area. So if there's something I miss, I can grab it. Look at that. We'll grab that. Uh, we'll grab that because I missed that.
Double check everything, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did, but I was already proven wrong earlier. Garrison. While the survivors wander the dungeons, oh, this is new. the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. This person that's uh, talking here, we will meet them later in the game. you went into the half orc before you wearing armor adorned with Iomade's golden swords is clearly exhausted she obviously hasn't got much sleep over the last few days there's suit on her face and fresh blood on her sword her hazel eyes are hard and focused and her vo firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders she sizes you up surprised judging whether you're a friend or foe and opens her mouth to ask you something but freezes when she spots a Nivea Oh, that's nice. They changed the animation there. They didn't have that before. By the goddess, Nebi, I, I'd almost lost all hope. And they gave her a voice actor. Nice. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here's a new friend. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife. Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. And by the way, I just want to say this adventure path came out like in 2012 like or 13. Yes, this is canon uh, of that game as well. Uh, Anivia and Erebeth are uh, married in that game, in the actual adventure path too. They can become two of your big followers. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Nevia out of there. Where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. Where's the target of this battle? When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Yeah, important information about the location of Kultistan. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. 
That's some mongrels we need cabrets. This is land. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the first crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. <laughs> What's the situation in the city? The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendelev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Ioma Day abandons us, we will fight for Canabras. Yes, Erebeth is a paladin of Ioma Day. She is good people. The Wardstones are a gift of Ioma Day. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. So one of the things they did change in this adventure path versus the original... Uh, well, the game versus the original adventure path is about... 10 years beforehand, I believe it was, um, the Storm uh, Demon, who, is, the Storm Baylor, who basically was the one who killed Trendelev in the Adventure Path, he did a tiny chink of damage to the Wardstone when he invaded Canabras that time, before he was driven away. Um, and this time, that little crack is what leads to what's going on. Here, it was just Daskari who did it, who, being basically the equivalent of a god, was able to damage the Wardstone. The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their lord Daskari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. Yeet! I thought the stone was destroyed. But it seems all is not lost, yet. Daskari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. That's the to spirit. battle. You take a navy to the rear. The rest of you with me. <laughs> you hear labored breathing, interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Horgus is hold his rapier held in a white knuckled grip. A bead of sweat trickles down from his temple. Lord Horgus Gworm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canabras can be said to be safe right now. <laughs> That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. <sighs> Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> At least we're rich in that. For Ioma Day! For the Queen! Kill the Beast! Hey there, Dragoon Blade. Good to see you again. Alright. Loot everything. Yep. Are these masterwork? Are these are masterwork.
Onwards. Yeah, we'll be back here at the end of the game, or at the end of this uh, one. into turn-based combat, everyone gets a turn, and this gets very, very bogged down. <coughs> so we're just gonna run this with live-action combat, and I can just heal as I go. The I don't like it as much. Me. Can't you just pause the game? Yeah. What's on your mind? Everyone. Yeah, I realized that. I thought I did. There we go. Ah, well, welcome! Fun fact, the makers of this game are Russian. Good to know. So you're one of those cultists. How's it going, pal? Wanna join? Your lot will all be dead soon. But we'll be alive. I can't. Come on, leave those losers. The crusades are over. Soon the demons will rule the whole world. Here goes that thing. All hell, Baphomet! Cowardly traitor, I swear on the sword of Iomeda, you will answer for your betrayal. By the way, that Save glowing stone right here, you. this is the ward stone right here. Or a part of it. So it was broken? Yeah, and yeeted. This is only part of it. It goes farther up. This is the ceiling right here. Ah. Uh. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Was the basically the equivalent of the live combat. It's not too bad, honestly. I just prefer um, doing the uh, other type. I like turn-based. It's a lot easier for like spellcasters and such. Let's move. Yeah, these doors are going to be locked for right now because. We'll be back here later. Double check, make sure we didn't miss anything. Looks like we did. We'll pick that stuff up. Ooh, potions. Drink. We're gonna have so much money. Uh, no worries, uh, Wolfab. Thanks for coming by. Uh, do sleep well if you do pass out. 
There is an item we will get later on in the game. Very, actually very quickly once we get out of here. If I'm and I think you guys will really like it. It is a living weapon. Oh, that's cool. They actually have an animation. Before it was just literally the groundbreaking. They actually had like rocks fall. That's cool. Yeah, also setting up your AOEs or your allies will walk into it. It can be really annoying when your allies walk into that. What's this? Oh, Do we know. have guests? Mm. Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton! My little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Minago. Uh, you again, you wench! Minago, the one who... Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Minago's demon, I'm trying to remember exactly what type of demon she is. In Pathfinder, she's a CR like 18 or 19, just for her general race. They are extremely powerful and scary demons. Does he know me? Staunton, darling. Tell them all how close we were. That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Dresden fell. Dresden was a city in the world wound um, during the Second Crusade. The Crusaders were able to take back the city and using a magical artifact they were able to keep the demons from teleporting in and out of the city and also weaken them whenever they came into the city um going into that though oh minago my. is one of the reasons like why the city butter fell. wouldn't melt what i remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts how you begged to see me again how you promised you'd do anything i asked by your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. Minago's uh, type can shapeshift. They can look like whatever they want to look like. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! <laughs> oh, she got an actual, her own little animation there. That's cool. That wasn't there before. Go to town, everyone. healing right now because there's no point right now. We're going to lose the next fight no matter what. Because we're supposed to lose the next fight no matter what. No! You can do it! Kill them all! Oh, well. That happened. <laughs> Call me again if you need to. That's the top of the ward zone right there. Oh, they added little glowing animations to this. That wasn't there before either. 
As soon as you step into the chamber, your vision seems to darken and your knees buckle. When you struggle to keep your balance, the air in here is laden with the power coming from the stone. Suddenly, your head is filled with voices screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening, voices pleading for help, shrieking, curses, and taunts. You blink and the illusion passes. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. This is it. Your precious sword stone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand, but wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. Oh, that's Sounds lovely. Sounds terrifying. Except that's how we've been living for generations. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the Abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the Abyss. Just a little more, and... Boom! <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof. Pledge your loyalty to Baphomet. And when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. You've already forgotten me. You mortals have awfully short memories. Even shorter than your little lives. Staunton, sweetums. Don't you want to introduce me to your friends properly? No? Well, I'd better do it myself. I am Minago, Lily Two and faithful servant of Baphomet, and leader of his armies. The city is mine now. I'm just starting to settle in, get things just how I like them. But once I'm finished, I promise you, the results will be simply to die for. Oh yeah, Nathan. Toshime kicked off September in one hell of an impressive way. Yeah, the other twos are nasty. They are uh, very, very powerful demons. They enjoy corrupting mortals and basically leading them into doing horrible things they otherwise wouldn't do. charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded. You took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. I love our party. Oh, they are sassy and I love them. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenades. All the people they've killed. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. Call on the angelic light of heaven, shall we? Echoing the holy flame rushing from your hands, the light also gets brighter and brighter until it floods the chamber. You hear the voices again, stronger now. They repeat your words like a choir of angels. Hey, no eyes! Didn't you tell us that heaven had turned its back on us and no one would come to our aid? Don't listen to the fiend. She wants you to lose all your hope. She won't succeed. I'm done with this shit! 
I only followed this hoofed menace because I thought the Crusaders had had it, and there was no other way to protect my family. But now I see that there is hope. I won't bow before these heinous idols ever again. If they kill me, at least I'll die a decent death. Yes! Return to our side, friends! Have courage! We will welcome you back, and heaven never abandoned you, no matter what this deceiver told you. Turncoat, I'll cut out your heart. We'll see how tough you really are. We'll let you frighten us once, but it won't happen again. We cannot be defeated! Yay, we have friends helping us. Uh, Stream Raiders! Uh, Nate, uh, first off, they are called Sable Crowns. And no, you get a set amount of them, but you don't earn more by watching than you do normally. Start the battle! Oh yeah, you, there's lots of different ways to earn them. Lots of different mini-games. Uh, you get more Cobalt Marks, but Nate wants those for a custom stream avatar's uh, avatar, which I am no longer going to be offering. If it's still there, then that is a mistake because I intended to remove it. Victory is ours. Okay, so I think we do need to turn down the ID a bit. Okay. Uh, we need to give uh, Serio Khan had max troops, so he gets 20 crowns. No, Nate, you cannot. Frankly, you never you rarely come to the streams anyways, and I'm not going to make an exception for one person. Uh, no, it's coins, then and... No. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, Syria. It says there in the list. He had six troops placed. one uh, right there this one? yeah click connect the X on there all right the uh, okay it looks like the bot is going to go through all of these regardless I'll have to take a look and try to limit that but uh, as for what I was talking about, uh, Nate wanted me to put in a custom little avatar at the bottom of the screen. 
as opposed to the default uh, Pokemon that you guys can choose from. And I just, I did not want to do that in the first place. Place your troops, everybody. All right, uh, over in the chat. Hit the up arrow on the keyboard just once. All right, hit enter. There we go. Now Sirio should actually get their crowns. Maybe, if the <laughs> bot didn't actually break again. Ah, there it goes. Uh, we need to hide Street Raiders. Yeah. You, you gotta turn it. Yeah, I realize. We'll get him trained up yet, guys. We'll get him trained up. I'm not the one who usually handles this stuff. But it's a PC game, so he's gotta be in this driver's seat here. Alright, turn down the volume. I cannot beat Minago, but I can see you. You can do it. I have faith in you. Minago. Minago. AC 32. Uh, yeah, I know. We ain't hitting her. You might. Welcome to the Hamlet. Just need a bunch of crits. Nope. And she casts Fireball. Around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. <laughs> the Demonus whispers a spell and a wave of darkness seeps through the chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it's nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices once again burst into your mind, drowning you in their moans, screams, and sobs. Pain rocks through your skull. Your evil spells won't stop the righteous on you. Iomade is with us! Yes, yes. Keep telling yourself that. Your voice blends into an unbearable wall of screaming. Your vision goes dark. Takaneo, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome. How are you? Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. What happened? We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. I found a cultist dispatch in the dungeons. He was there hold up in the Tower of Astor. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now. At least not blindly. I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. I'm sorry, I'm a hero. What's the situation in the city? Bad, but not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. I'm sorry to hear that, Taka, but, uh, we're happy to have people here to chat with. 
Today is a bit different than normal. Kerr, uh, my roommate, is actually playing the game. I'm just here uh, co-streaming with him. They're going Yo. to desecrate the Wardstone and blow up the whole barrier around the World Wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the World Wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with the Wardstone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the Abyss. Tell me about the Wardstones. The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the World Wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. Can I help you in any way? First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Prelate Hulrune dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. <clears throat> I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on the salt. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabras, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you, and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please yes. report that. Yes, yes it will now. We will get to explore the city. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. Thank you. Irabeth is good people. Personal chest. Now, let us call forth. Where are you? There you are. We have a pet owl cat. Owl cat? Yep. This is my pet. Alright.
Hey, wait, might have I been angry about something? So here's the first most important thing. Beth gave you a crucial mission. I get that. And I know you'll get the job done. I saw you in action. Here's the rub. By sending you out on an errand, we're weakening our defenses here. If they come at us while you're gone, I don't know if we'll be able to fight them off. Uh, what do you think the demons will attack next? Your guess is as good as mine. Might not be here, they could attack the whole damn city. Those vermin might have lost the upper hand, and that's where they're going to push back hard. If things kick off here, you should know. After they attack, some things could be changed beyond recognition. So if you've got any business that needs taken care of, you better do it soon. What else do you want to talk about? See that river that damn beetle left with its side? Yeah, well, it cut the city in two, and it's kind of difficult to get across. My scouts tell me there's a halfway decent place to set up a crossing in Market Square, not that any of them tried it to make it sure. But if you got a mind to get across, I think you have to eventually. You might want to take the square once over. Thank you. Hey there, Frisk. Good to see you. How are ya? So today, uh, Kerr, my uh, roommate, is actually the one playing the uh, game while... I'm just hanging out here, uh, co-streaming with him. Getting our thousand gold from Horga Squirm for getting him back to the surface. And now, we get a quest from him. He has a job for su us that he thinks is perfect for us. And what does he mean by a job? For an adventurer ready to sell their soul for booze and then lie drunk down drunk in the gutter? Or do you think you're somehow different? A traveling knight, perhaps? Noble of heart without coin to your name? You seem reliable enough ally to me, and did you get me out of those mongrel caves? So why should I care what you do with my money once you've got it? Horga seems like one of those people who thinks the entire o world owes him something. However, you hear notes of hysteria beneath his smug arrogance. It's as though he's really quite nervous, but taking great pains to conceal it. Yeah, go fuck yourself, sir. Oh, really? How impudent. No one dares tell Horga Squirm how to address the rabble. So what is his job? You shall be my bodyguard, you see. I have good reason to return to my manor here in Canabras. I still have, well, it doesn't matter, it's of your business. My mansion is a breathtaking building with a large guard in the wealthy part of the city. Even before the demons attacked, every three frauds from the sea had tried to get inside one way or another. I shudder to imagine its state it is now. I have little hope that my gods were able to hold the mansion during the attack. I expect that the servants fled when the demons... Only Avidar knows what happened there since. Therefore, I would ask you to meet at my mansion and guard me until they complete my business. I already asked local paladins for help, but they have no desire to set foot inside this tower. Damn cowards and traitors, that's what they are. What kind of reward are we talking about? Diplomacy. Success! We got more gold. Good. So we're going to be heading back to his banner and going to be helping him with something. And we will get stuff. Yeah, screw Horgus, though. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well, uh, Frisk. I do hope you feel better. Good to see you, though. Let's hit this. Stanton! Oh, it's you. Good work back there in the Grey Garrison. Name's Stan Vane. Heard rumors about me. His face looks like it's never known. Anything carefree is a smile and grimaces. Just so you know, everything people say about me is true. I need to talk to an elf who calls himself a storyteller. Do you know where I can find him? A storyteller? Hmm. A strange old fellow, that one. He used to sit with me for hours, asking about all sorts of things. He never offered judgment or comfort. He just listened. At first, I wanted him and his questions as far away from me as possible. But later, I realized that talking to him did ease my burden a little. I hope he's alive and well. He's completely blind in people, too. So if he's alone in the city, well, you probably know what that means. So, can you actually leave the city, or does everything take place in the city? We leave the city after the end of Chapter 1. Okay. Yep. I was wondering if it was kind of like Baldur's Gate, where, you know, you've got multiple places to explore. Yep. And... Okay. The first chapter of the game takes place in Baldur's Gate. The Every other chapter takes place traveling around. It takes place in Baldur's Gate? Uh, Copyright infringement! No... Uh, yeah, you could make a f uh, full party of fluffy characters, technically, if you wanted to. Hey there, Jaffer and Schmoops. Good to see you both. Hey, guys. Yes, um, basically, to give the rundown for Staunton, he is responsible for the fall of Drevin. Uh, and he's been working in what are called the Condemned. 
a force of criminals and such that serve the army against the demons of the world wound. And yeah, he really doesn't have any friends. Okay, Jaffer. Ooh, we leveled up. Hey, you didn't notice that? Uh, let me get something set up real quick. We're gonna get another member of our party. Kerr's not actually playing as a fluffy character. Follow me. It's a disappointment. I'm sorry. Why don't you do it too? You're just sitting here, sir. You're the one that wanted to play this. Hey, Chief. Hey, Dreamboat, come over here. I want to talk to you about something. Something really important. Quit bothering the decent people in here, Wolgif, or I'll knock your teeth out. What's it to you, Delvin Dum Dum? You were told to guard me, and I'm not stopping you. But no one told me I had to shut my trap. Wolgif. Wolgif Jeffdo. I deal in useful things. I can get you whatever you want. Anything. But there's just one problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay it out for you. Simple job, 30 minutes tops. We go someplace, talk to someone, and in return, whatever you want, I'll get it for you. Some extra rations, no problem. Armor, weapons, scrolls, you name it. It's as good as yours. If you need my help with something, Whistle and I'll be there. I'm handy enough with knives, too. And even my magic know-how isn't too shabby. <laughs> what a load of guff. If you were good at magic, you wouldn't be stuck in here now, would you? Don't you listen to him, Chief. He'd find fault with the Queen herself. I'll be useful to have in battle, and I'll sell whatever you want at a reasonable price. It's your lucky day. You won't meet another gem like me in Canabras. Why are you in chains? Does it really matter? Don't get hung up on the past, Chief. Don't look to the future. Live in the here and now. He was caught thieving. Your shadow, what was that? <laughs> get me out of here and I'll tell you. And don't worry, it's not contagious. Can't help you if you're chained up here. How can I get you free? That's easy. You know Irabeth? Feisty looking gal, always wears armor. You can't miss her. She's the meanest fighter in the whole city. When you see her, put in a good word for me, will ya? Tell her there's this guy, Wolgif, locked up for no good reason in the Defender's heart. Well, for the follies of his youth. And he really wants to get out on bail so he can keep up his good behavior and make a contribution to society. Got that? Will you do it? All right. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Hi again, Toshime. We'll talk later. Alright, let's go get Wolgif out of prison. I hope you don't uh, completely screw up your sleep schedule, Jaffer. March on. Oh. A tall, fragile looking elf sits in front of you, eyes closed. He is pale as a ghost, his arm wrapped in a blood stained bandage. You spot other bandages on his body under his clothes. Being in such a miserable state, he manages to keep calm. I am Forn Autumn Hayes at your service. Do you need help? Do not trouble yourself on my behalf. A local healer tended to me. Besides, I come from resilient, hardy people. My body will endure both the wounds and the poison delivered through them. Who wounded you? Actually, no. I want to help you. It would be implied to refuse such a direct and friendly offer. Who is your quarry here? I was hanging a fugitive and described by the name of Kalissa. It pains me to admit that there are heinous malefactors such as her among my noble kind. I managed to catch up to her here in Canabras and I wounded her. Then demons appeared and the city was engulfed in flames. I was injured in the battle and sure couldn't and that sure and couldn't free her soul from its service to her dark masters. Sorry for your misfortune. I hope things will turn out different next time. There's no need for pity. Our ancient kind is blessed with great longevity. We gain a deeper understanding of the world and other races, and we learn our lessons better than anyone. 
That goes for learning from our mistakes as well. I survive, which means I'll be more prepared than the next we meet. I wish to aid you in your hunt. I thank you, but this is my mission. I am using to face all manners of terrors on my own. I do appreciate your willingness to help. If you happen to meet Calissa, take caution. She has turned many innocent souls to the path of evil and darkness. Has rewarded her with many gifts. And darkness has rewarded her with many gifts. Her appearance alone will tell you that it is warped. The eye gets skin, the malicious stare of a blood red eye is the piece of cheek. She's more monster than elf at this point. I don't think I can make this check. Oh, Sila helps me. Nope, can't make it. Her skin is dark, her hair preternaturally white. Her red eyes can see perfectly in the dark, which to my dismay, I've come to know from experience. But bright light causes her kind pain. I use an alchemical power that explodes in a dazzling fashion because she cried out as if I had stabbed her. Alright. We'll go find out. Good fortune to you. Young man in well-worn traveling clothes and a simple wind symbol of Aristotle on his chest is efficiently cutting a linen robe into strips to use his bandages. Despite his visible exhaustion, he works with zeal, slinging some tune about red braids and ripe sheaves of wheat under his breath. He raises his warm chestnut-colored eyes to you. Are you one of the Crusaders? Thank you for defending those of us whose talents lie off the battlefield. I'm Drenog, servant of Aristil. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing here? I only took my holy orders recently, so my god has only bestowed a little of his power upon me as yet. I'm sorry to say the number of wound fires in this town is far beyond my power to heal. There's a reason people say you have faith in the gods, but look out for yourself first. I may not be able to help the wound with magic, but I can at least cut bandages. Are you from around here? Now I'm just, just passing through Canabras. I was sailing down that old man of ours, the Great Selen River, to a village by the name of Chili Creek. I happened to a land in the city on the eve of the festival, and I'm ashamed to say I decided to stay for a day to enjoy myself. But I ended up staying in the city longer than I'd bargained for. Chili Creek, where's that? It's a small fishing village. It's, it's not even marked on some maps, but people do live there. But they don't have as a priest. There's no one to heal their wounds, no one to offer prayers for a good catch, no one to give their dead a dignified burial, and the world wound is thrown and throws away. So I'll be saying sail for Chale Creek to serve my god and my people. Once we've held Canaveras, I'll be going there. If by the grace of the good gods we will survive this, you should come visit me sometime. You'll find the village here on the bank of the river. Alright, uh, I can use that with a cleric. Aristotle knows I'd be glad to help you, but it's no use. My spells are depleted, and I have no training in potions or scrolls. See this robe i for bandages? It's the second to last one. Yeah, he... We'll see him later. Yeah, but he's clearly not a main oh, character, because he doesn't have a portrait. That's how it works in these games. Right? Not always. And he says, how is the city? Let's get him out. Wooljiv is a petty thief from a gang of thieflings operating in Canabras. That's what we call them in these parts. They tried to rob a vendor of magical items recently. Unfortunately, we operated only one of them, and the rest managed to escape. We have nowhere else to keep him apart from the Defender's Heart, but that's hardly a prison. Wooljiv knows it too. He's been begging us for days to let him go free or have someone vouch for him. He's already asked you to put in a good word for him, hasn't he? If you want to recruit Wolf, put him to good use. Go ahead and take him off our god's hands. We can no afford to let a soldier spend their days watching over a middling thief. I hope the thiefling proves useful should you decide to take him along. Yes, we can talk to you guys later before the end of the adventure. Uh, Sila. Hey there, during the march through the dungeon, we never got the chance to exchange a proper greeting. It's high time I shake your hand. Irba said your friend Jana Eldori is missing. Do you know where we should look for her? Irba is worried about her fighters. I understand that. I wanted to look for Jana myself, so I didn't distract you. And so you're in this too, I could use some help. Jana and I met in Canabras a few days ago and just hit it off. We went drinking together. We went to that unforgettable civilization together too. We got separated in the crowd. So we should start looking from the main square. That's where I last saw her. Jana's a good fighter, even if she is green. She couldn't have become an Eldori otherwise. I hope that means she's alright. Uh, I'd like to know more about you. Of course, ask anything. I'll answer honestly. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I'm a little bit from Geb, a little bit from Katapesh, mostly, but mostly from the Knights of Ioma Day. I was accepted and began my training at 14. I belong to their ranks more than I belong to any other place. 
What made you become a pilot in my own day? So her gaze sharpens momentarily, then she sighs. That's a serious question and a good one. You should ask it of your companions. But it's a long story. To start with, 12 years ago, I was nothing like the person I am now. I roamed the streets of Soluk with the other or homeless orphans. I stole, I fought, I was hired sword for a bit. Not the proper origin of a paladin, is it? Back then, Saluk was a city of orphans, widows, and widowers. Knolls decimated the city regularly. My parents were among their victims. People there heard about new deaths before they finished mourning their previous losses. One day, a group of knights of Iomade brought a glimmer of hope to the city, but while others saw them as saviors and protectors, I was busy pricing up their noble horses and their gleaming mithril armor, wondering just how much one of their pretty swords would fetch. <laughs> A thief lives one day at a time, that's what they say. I was the type that never thought past the next job. Anyhow, I was able to sneak into the knight's camp and steal one of their mithril helms. And I was right there when Enol attacked the helm's owner. Asemi was her name and dealt a blow to her unprotected head. And unlike all those others, she'd fearlessly driven from the gates of Solku. That one blow was fatal, but who was really for who was really to blame for her death? The Null attacker or the young thief? Named Sila. I know what it's like to survive sometimes. I can't judge you. Well, I can. I believe everyone deserves a chance at a redemption, but redemption means you understand what you did and you're willing to be harder on yourself from now on. Were you asking what brought me into the ranks of Viomedes warriors? Well, we all choose the Paladin's path for our own reasons. Some are guided by nobility of spirit, some by a desire to fight injustice. I became who I am through penance and a debt unpaid. The day a semi died protecting my city, I wanted to kill myself for the terrible guilt I felt. Then I realized it wouldn't make the world any better, and I decided that instead I'd try to take her place, I'd become who she had been, and protect the innocence that she was no longer able to protect. So, going a little bit more into her backstory, um, uh, a semi knew that Sila had stolen her, t her helmet, and she let Sila go and stopped the other paladins from going after her or arresting her. Because to Asemi, the little girl who basically had nothing, uh, maybe that helmet would be enough to help her get off the streets and to find a better life. So she stopped everyone from going after her to get her helmet back. And she ended up being killed in the fight that happened afterwards. And Sila nearly committed suicide on her funeral pyre when she went to it with the helmet still in her arms to give it back to her. And it was that moment that she was called as a paladin. And she is now working to try to make up for what she did when she was a child. Okay. Sila is good people. Sila is very good people. You have to be to be a paladin. But what if you're a fallen paladin? Uh, you're still kind of a pa paladin. No, no, not not. If you're enough to fall, it's not good. Um, what are the principles of paladins that I only follow? I'll tell you. I like to reset our code. It feels like I've done it a thousand times, but it never gets old. There's strength in these words. I will learn the weight of my sword. Without my heart to guide it, it is worthless. My strength is not in my sword, but it's in my heart. If I lose my sword, I have lost the tool. If I betray my heart, I have died. I will have faith in the Inheritor. I will channel her strength through my body. I will shine in her legion, and I will not tarnish her glory through base actions. I am the first in the battle and the last to leave it. I will not be taken prisoner by my free will. I will not surrender those under my command. I will never abandon a companion, though I will honor sacrifice freely given. You know, that's true. A Vengeance Paladin can definitely be uh, questionable. Vengeance Paladins do not exist in Pathfinder. That type of Paladin isn't allowed to exist in uh, Pathfinder. They, they have to be lawful good. They can't be other alignments. Oh, Stream Raiders is almost up. Okay. I will guard the honor of my fellows, both thought and deed, and I will have my faith in them. When in doubt, I may force my enemies to surrender, but I am responsible for their lives. I will never refuse a challenge from an equal. I will give honor to worthy enemies and contempt for the rest. I will suffer death before dishonor. I will be temperate in my actions and moderate in my behavior. I will strive to em emulate Iomade's perfections. Thank you. We'll be back later. 
Queen. Can you recruit her back into your party? Sela stays in the party. Oh, I just don't see her down there. No one's in here while we're in our base area. It's just me. Uh... But everyone's still recruited. I'm just gonna run <laughs> real quick. Do some selling real quick. Streamliners! Why'd you take your uh, headset off? It was just, yeah, my ears. Oh. Stream Raiders, start the battle. Victory! it to give out for crowns thank you all for participating place your troops in the next battle please uh, we're gonna bring the berserkers not up yet war beast isn't up I've got quests for both of those hit home go to quests on the left Like that. Uh, well, no other quests except for placing those two, so we will bring the um, bring the bomber. Uh, right about there. I right, place your troops, everybody. Now back to the game. Just uh, left click on the stream raiders real quick on the GC thing. No, uh, click on the eye, but then click off to the left of it. There we go. That'll have it highlighted. It makes it easier to find it. Mm. Forget to level yourself up, by the way. I know. I'm gonna do it once I get my party together. Ah. Let us be off. Yes, this is Santin Vane's brother right here. Uh, we want to show radiance to him because he's one of the people who helped forge it for Yanil way back when. And he explains here that this sword is no ordinary sword, and it's like a reflection of the wielder's soul. And he's going to make a scabbard for us. Now we show us your wares, please. Because now we have stuff to get rid of. Fourteen masterwork glaives. Yeah, you have a lot of stuff to sell. Mm-hmm. Wait, are those did that say those are reagents? Yeah. I don't use them that much. I not at this early level, we can always just buy them. Uh 
But that's a cold iron. Yeah, and I don't have anyone who can use it right now. Oh. Yes, we are also selling the magic weapon here because we don't have anyone who uses glaives and it's only a plus one glaive. We won't get someone who uses glaives until the start of uh, chapter two. Now let's see, does he have anything that's good that we want? He's got good stuff, but it's expensive yet. Zerda, yes. Uh, so Kerr, uh, one of my roommates, is currently, uh, he wanted to share this game with you guys. Uh, every now and then I do, or every now and then one of my roommates will do something uh, like this. Uh, I myself uh, also, I mean, I've got games that I do on my own as well. Thank you very much for those biddies, by the way. Let's get moving. Now we get our party. Uh, I'm not actually oh. playing right now. Okay. Uh, Kerr is the one playing. Hello. But like with... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yesterday... Uh, so... Thursdays, Toya and I play games together for a little while. Um, well, Chief, what do you got for me? <laughs> you must be a smooth talker. Come on, Delvin, get these bracelets of yours off me. I'm going free. You're sure to regret this. Yo. This tiefling will fleece you for everything you've got. Mark my words. You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. You can't even be happy for me, can you? I pity you. I'll leave you alone with your sad little soul. So long. And now, Chief, straight down to business. <clears throat> you see, I'm one of those guys that people around here call thieflings. We just call ourselves the family. I have a kid soon, a portrait. After we knocked over that shop and I got stuck here in the Defender's Heart, a little bird told me that Big Sister Karis may wanted to see me. That she had some questions to ask me. You following? Now, she won't be asking me questions like, Wolgif, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, Wolgif, you're so thin, didn't they feed you? No, something serious has gone down, and I just know they want to try to pin something on me. I can feel it in my tail. So, I knew right away that I couldn't go alone. You turned up just in time, Chief. You don't need to do anything when we get there. Just stand behind me and look mean, and I'll handle the rest. Somehow. Let's go, I I'll show you the way. Uh, Kerr is a lion, but he's got, he's playing as a human, but he's got a Kitsune, uh, portrait. Mm -hmm. Just wait till we meet, we meet the, uh, Kitsune. We'll meet oh, her today. We... She's great. Yeah, this game is really good. I do want to do, uh... <laughs> I, I do want to do, uh, Divinity 2 again. But yes, Kerr's got a very confusing species set up. 
We get sneak attack now. What mods would I use, Zerda? I haven't really played very far into Divinity 2. I've just done it with uh, Chim and Kerr for a bit. Fair enough, Zerda. I'll probably t consider taking a look at it, but I don't think I'll be doing mods yet unless there's some major, like, quality of life type things. Generally, I want to get a feel for the base game before messing with things. So now we are in, ooh, they added little things here. These weren't here before. These are just little circles. So now these are all quests that we can do or places that we can go to. So if we want to do like his quest, we can go up here and do it right now. The cool thing for this is they did get rid of the BS that was in the other game where it's like, you only have like 10 days to do this quest. Now it's like, as long as you go and do it before you get to the end of the chapter, you're good. Because people got really pissed off that they had to rush things and like, you didn't have time to rest or anything. You had to go, 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 go. They got rid of that and it's much better now. So let's head to the market square. Travel. These are just for, like, Regans and stuff that you can find. Uh-oh. We failed to sneak past someone. We're gonna kill have to kill them people. All. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Did we find trouble? No. Uh, from what they I did. understand, Baldur's Gate 3 is still coming. I need to do, uh... I I'm gonna finish, uh, Baldur's Gate 2 before I actually play Baldur's Gate 3. Cover me, all right. uh, mostly because I've never actually beaten it. I've gotten very far it. on Baldur's Gate 2, but never actually beat it. The light. Take you. Also, holy crap, this uh, weather open. effect. Oh? It is pretty. They do hard. They work hard. Though it came in very quickly. Uh, you must gather your party before venturing forth. I did. Baldur's Gate 3 is still going. They're about to release a new patch. I'm pretty sure, like a lot of games, they were held up by uh, COVID. And sleep well, Dragoon. I hope to see you tomorrow especially. I'm going to be doing some more RimWorld. Night. Oh, I've never actually seen it when it rains. This is the first playthrough I've done where it rained. Swiggity swiggity, we are going for that booty. <laughs> Sorry, 
Serio, but at the same time, there will be recordings you can watch. Uh, RimWorld specifically did not, so there, there's actually a bit of story behind the, the art that they decided to go with for RimWorld. Uh, because it's primarily a story generator, uh, they did not want to actually have detailed art for things. Because the, uh, the developer felt that uh, Tynan, I believe his name, he goes by, I don't remember for sure though. Um, he wanted to make sure that the graphics of the game would not overshadow the story that you want to experience. Like, there's a lot of detailed mechanics to RimWorld but he wanted to make sure that the uh, art did not limit your creativity for your story. So while the art is simple, that's so that way if you want your character to be, uh, you know, missing an arm or something, uh, you, you the model wouldn't be affected by that. Uh, literally, for making mods, they have a full page, uh, a very long well? page of details on the philosophy behind we the art, falter. behind the specific art style that they used. I went and I, I went and read all that because uh, I was making the Martin's mod for it, and I'm like. Oh, I did not realize they put this much thought and work into just picking this simple me. art style. Make every strike count. And they're very particular about insisting that mods uh, follow the same art style. Uh, Yeah, it's really cool how they did it. Strike with all your might. Sneak attack. Into the Like, th this is the part where it comes in handy, like I did just there, um, where I used Burning Hands to cast a spell and blast them both. It's really annoying to use that kind of spell because everyone likes to bunch up, so then you're hitting your entire party with it. Oh, hi, friends. Go for their hearts! <clears throat> Uh, you cannot have, like, by default, no, you cannot have children in RimWorld. Um, as far as that goes, from what I understand, it's basically, the reasoning is they didn't, your goal is not to stay there forever. Uh, your goal is to get off the planet and back home, wherever your home may be, and therefore, you know, children just add an unnecessary uh, amount of difficulty to a survival setting, so even though, you know, when playing the game, we typically will stay there for a long while, you're also talking about a... Most playthroughs last one, maybe two years of in-game time, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, 
but you're never going to see those children grow up enough to actually be useful. Uh, is there an answer to your question too? This follows 1E rules. Hey everyone, let me show you the most powerful spell I like level 1 through 4. Oh, Grease. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're having... If, if you are struggling to just survive, even if it's financially, simply financially, you don't want to have children. Granted, we have a, a lot of, there are a lot of government pro, uh, programs to help with that in our, you know, in the real world, but on the rim, you don't have a government that's like, oh, you've got a child? Well, here, let's give you a bunch of free food. No. You, you got a kid that's just going to be Time to share eating for years and years and not doing anything. Endure. That said, the the developer's not against mods that add it. They ju he just did not add that functionality in because it wouldn't fit. Spirits demand your blood. Yeah, most powerful spell indeed. I think it's doing more harm to your people than them. This is what happens. I no, I wanted to do that on purpose because. That's what happens if uh, you have the normal uh, thing going. Everyone will walk into the grease and start falling over. Something wrong. It's not, uh, I mean, it's even the fact that uh, children, yeah, they just consume, but they also, it also means that you basically are losing one of the parents from being able to do anything except for take care of the child for several years. There, there's a reason that maternity leave is a thing. Granted, after maternity leave is over, yeah, they can get back to work here in... I have never played Virtual Villager. I don't even know what it is. Do not fear! Do not waver! But yeah, with RimWorld, your goal is to get off the planet. Whereas with uh, other games you like today, Banished, um, Make every and uh, other such uh, survival we colony games, fall. you're setting up a point. So you want to ensure that the Cover village keeps living, thus children are important. Uh, but in RimWorld, you just want to get off the planet and get to a more civilized location. At least that's the intention of the game. Obviously, not everybody actually does that. Also, you are just mowing down all of these things. Mm -hmm. I've done this uh, this part of the game like six times. I know how to fight. I've gotten very good at dealing with these encounters. Oh, that game. Okay. Okay, yeah, I know that game, Zerda. Um... I don't, uh, I, I don't really, was it really called Virtual Villager? I'm not sure if that's what it was called, or at least not here. Um, but yes, I remember trying to play that game. We 
can do it! Why did you cast Color Spray on your own team? It looks like they're fighting each other. Kill the mage first. Always kill the squishy mage first. Forwards. I, I remember one of those village games that were based on real time, where you would have to go in and it was incredibly difficult. And you basic, you know, it was real time, which was the worst decision ever. You'd have to babysit it every single freaking day. We won't falter. Let's move. Oh, there's our sixth member of the party. That's what I was looking for. Is that the Kitsune? No, nope. we'll make this we quick. Need her she won't yet. feel a thing. I don't know. Can we really do this? Listen, we don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? A group of knights surrounds a young elven girl. She's dressed in rags that barely cover the hideous scars on her body. The bigger girl is on her knees, watching placidly the people arguing heatedly around her. And so she doesn't care at the looming threat at all. A black crow flies in agitated circles above her head. In Iomade's name, we're sorry, girl, but it is our duty. We have to do this, not for our own sake, but for the sake of everyone who can still be saved from the demons. If we don't win this battle, you won't have long to live anyway. Aw, uh, thank you, Zerda. They're insane! We've got to do something! I understand. You're scared. You feel powerless. You think this will help. You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. What's going on here? We... We... Our weapons barely scratch the demon's hides. We're sacrificing this girl to Iomade so we can consecrate our weapons with her innocent blood and gain the power to destroy the spawn of the abyss. Might be the same voice actor. Voice same voice actress. It's extreme, but we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow or else we'll all perish, including her. Let's see. Plus 3 plus 9 plus 9. Who told you to do this? This sounds like cultist work to me. Good point. Whose idea was this? I think it was yours. My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Who said we needed to make a sacrifice? Wasn't it you? You can't blame anyone else for that. Please don't fight. All of you are good people, defenders of the city. You just made a mistake. Please don't hurt them. The little girl is defending the people who wanted to slaughter her a minute ago. She's either a saint or she's insane. Maybe the two together. Hey, I know her. I see her all the time on the street. She's a couple of cards short of a full deck, if you know what I mean. Hi. Remember when we used to play together when we were little? But then you went and got all big. And I stayed the same for some reason. Huh? I played with you? <laughs> Pull the other one. You did. We played tag and hide and seek. Then you and the bigger boys came up with the game where you all threw stones at me. You laughed so hard. It made me happy too. But then you grew up and went away to do grown up things. Wanna play with me now? She's creepy. 
She's an elf. Elf sage very slowly. She's creepy. Elf uh, Ember is a good person. I don't the love of Canabris is too damn small. Go to the Defender's Heart Tavern, where that's where the survivors are gathering, and don't even think of doing anything so disgusting ever again. Thank you. They're gone. And they all lived. I was sure that someone would die today. So many people have died here already. But we are still alive for some reason. Strange, isn't it? The fact that she's perfectly okay with being sacrificed is creepy. To me. I don't know what I'm talking uh, you're about. gonna learn very quickly, I'm like literally in the next really. where I go next here. Um you remember Holrune, the guy who basically took away our weapons when we were nearly dead? When we were pulled in on the stretcher, he was the first guy to talk to us. In which? This? Yeah. When we were on the stretcher, he was the guy who was going, Someone call Terendalev. Someone get Terendalev. Take his weapons from him. No weapons are allowed here. No, I wasn't here for that. Oh. So, he's the guy who's basically in charge of the city. He tried to burn her alive. Her and her dad. Oh! Her, her dad died, she didn't. But if you look at her arms here, they're really badly scarred and burned. It's from that. It's when she got her abilities. Who are you? Call me Ember. I live here, on the streets, for many years now. But there's nothing to say about me. I don't think you're an ordinary girl. And that curl you have there, it's not ordinary either. No, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Well, I know different types of tricks, but Soot taught me those. Sleep well, Sirio. Thanks for coming by. Now Soot here? She truly is unusual. She's clever and she can talk, but only to me. She teaches me magic tricks and lots of other stuff. I don't know what I'd do without her. She is a witch. That is her familiar. That's where she gets her spells from. Ah. I'll be able to protect you from insane soldiers on the street. Come with me. I must have misheard. This girl? Join our party? What could we possibly want with this dirty little beggar? Sure. Let's go. Ah, uh, Camilla. Camilla. Uh, she was chosen by the being who uh, uses the bird as its intermediary. As we can actually look at Ember. She is neutral good. Okay. We can also, I didn't do this earlier, I should have. These are her spells. As a witch, she's like a sorcerer. She can cast only these spells, but she can cast all of these spells a maximum of six times per day. Where for others, I have not had a chance because she just leveled and we hadn't rested yet. I can prepare spells. Um... These are all the what spells. is spirit magic? Uh, she's what's called a spirit hunter. So she gets specifically transmutation spells for like, you know how wizards have uh, evocation, abjuration, specific. Yeah. She has that. So hers okay. is transmutation. So she can prepare extra transmutation spells in that slot. Okay. Um, we are going to prepare bless because bless is good. I'm trying to, her saves are not necessarily the best. She's more of a, like, uh, uh, like a dexterity fighter with, like, a rapier and such. But she has really good spells that she can call back to. But her spells don't necessarily have the best saves. But she does get some good buff spells, which is where her talents really lie at. And also you can keep track of, like, their lore and stuff as you go.
she actually is like the second highest AC of my entire team. Stream Raiders is ready, by the way. Yep, I will get it up. Just double checking something real quick for everyone. Okay. Ember, what spells do you? Yeah, you don't get you don't get spells till fourth level. One of the things you have to know is prepared casters get spells at every odd level. Uh, spontaneous casters who don't have to prepare their spells get their spells at every even level. So two, four, or one, four, six, eight, ten, one, three, five, seven, nine. So let's get the stream raiders up. I uh, go to the stream raiders and get that reload. And go ahead and bring it up on screen. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Praise the sun. No, but praise the sub. <laughs> and thank you very much for that gift, sub Zerda. Like we don't have any crowns to give out right now. Uh, Jeff of the North. I don't think they've talked. Syria. He's got six troops. Oh, that is fair. But yeah, no other crowns but Syria. He gets twenty. I will get them to him. Also, uh, just hit the up arrow. Oh. Since he was the last one, he gave crowns to as well. Uh, 20. Hit the up arrow again and just hit enter. Alright, let's head on to the next map. Which one do you want me to put? Uh, we're going for the blue one. This one right here? No, the blue... This one? So, follow this... the path towards that one. This one will go there. Yeah. And it's a mystery. Place your troops, everyone. Place your troops. Berserker, the one with the two swords. Next to the samurai guy. This one? Yeah. Alright, get your troops down, everybody. Let's get back to the game. Yeah, I hope you guys are all enjoying the game, by the way. Now, once more. We got our party, though we don't have everyone that I want quite yet. That will change. Let's head on in. Ooh, the Bane. The Bane! Swarms. They did change it so you can actually hurt swarms now. Cover me, with, right? Without having to use magic. Before you couldn't, and it was Enjoy really rough. Because you hit them literally level one, and if you don't have a wizard in your party, you can't kill them. The 
So this is... your blood. You are today's sacrifice. Oh, she's sickened. Crap. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? <sighs> Make every strike count. Uh, sickened is a nasty condition. Likely you can repeat these to try to open I them. I hope you appreciate Ooh, this. We get armor. Magic armor. Hide armor plus one. Yes, please. Oh, hi, demon worshippers. I thought I'd pop in and let you know that you're still just streaming Stream Raiders. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that, Toshime. I stepped away and uh... thought I hit it. You're welcome. Have fun. Thank you. We killed some rats. That was it. And I opened a chest. Sorry about that. He distracted me with water and I forgot to change it back. Rat swarms are freaking nasty. Swarms are much easier to deal with in this game than they were before. Oh wow, they added something new where you can finish the summoning ritual. You couldn't do that before. Uh... We're going to destroy this circle, though. I'll watch your back. Cast heal. Alright, let's get moving again. Follow me. I hope you guys are enjoying the game so far. Fireball does solve all problems, doesn't it? March on. Yeah, this is the drow. This is the Kylisa, the person we heard about. Let's try to heal her. <laughs> Thanks and everything, but the next person who uses magic on me without my permission is going to get an arrow to the eye. There's no point in you knowing, soldier. Trust me, the answer will only bring you misfortune. It still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer you won't ever meet again. Who hurt ya? Heavy knows the city is burning. There's a battle going. I was wounded by a cultist. Her wounds are all strange, not all like mine. They burned me from the outside, but you were burned from within. I think it hurt, didn't it? Yes, I can see that hurt. I'm sorry that happened to you. You have a keen eye for those things, don't you, soldier? You guessed correctly. I'm a drow, but don't think that gives you the right to judge me. There's much you don't know about me, and never will know. Believe me, it's for your own good. Kalesa, cultist of Discari. That's a lie. I loathe demons and I'll kill any I come across. She's holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying. Why would foreign slander you? 
You're asking questions that are dangerous in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chance that a traitor's die will find you in the back. I believe you. Foreign is in the defender's heart. You should keep uh, head away from that place. Very well, soldier, and thank you for believing me. So we're gonna go talk to Foreign about this. This is actually brand new. I've never done this before. I have never encountered her before, so I have no idea about any of this. Foreign's that, uh... Now, what is that? Elf, right? The yeah. He was the one who he said he was wounded by her, and that she was a cultist of Ascari, but she's not. So there's something going on between those two. This is where we're actually supposed to go. The Parkour! We have built a bridge. The heartbeat quickens. Them for me. We can do it. Oh no. I didn't mean that to anymore. I didn't realize that. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. So he's taking some dexterity damage. Let's see if I have a scroll for that. Yes, I do. I'll use it. We will win this war. You have to equip it first. Makes it easier so I can cast on someone. Cure disease scroll. Let's see. Yes, I do. Together? Because if you don't. Can't be used by her. Oh. She can. Ember can use it. If you try to just use the item uh, from the inventory, they'll cast it on themselves. It'll negate the effects for the next 10 minutes. Oh. That's probably all I'll need to get through here. Also, that's our little pet. This is the asshole. Oh. oh, that's what it is. I've noticed that thing wandering around a lot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My 
My beloved brother, I admire your zeal, of course, but would you not agree this is hardly the time to be standing guard over a hole that no one will ever emerge from? Or perhaps you're concerned that someone will decide to go for a nighttime stroll and will accidentally fall into it. Such foresight is laudable, but do you really need to so many soldiers for such a task? Can't your warriors be put to better use? For instance, fighting demons or clearing rubble, while the people trapped beneath it might still be alive? <laughs> You're not gonna read off that? The face of this the face of this golden curled Asmer is beautiful, even by the standards of his kind, in whose veins runs the blood of angels. His melodious voice sounds cheerful, but bitter reproach shimmers in his gaze. I guess I should have read that last part first. Don't you dare call me brother, heretic! The signs of recent hard fighting are obvious in the stern old man. His armor is dented and covered in blood, and his unnatural pallor suggests something more dangerous than wounds inflicted by claws and fangs. Nevertheless, his gaze is stony and his voice, accustomed to barking orders, is harsh and clipped. How dare you accuse me of doing nothing to protect this city, especially now when followers of your temple were caught committing treason! To my mind, you are no different than the demon worshippers. Those miscreants, those beasts are digging under the city walls. Everyone knows, my dearest prelate, that in your zealous pursuit of order in the city, you have long since forgotten how to tell friend from foe, and good from evil. That's what happened with my adepts, whose act of Treason was a genuine attempt to save the city, and yet again I am forced to repeat myself. While we are wasting time on pointless quarrels, people are dying under the rubble in our city. People whom we could have saved if you had only set your soldiers to the task and not kept them here, surrounding a useless and utterly harmless hole in the ground. Harmless? Well, if it's on your say-so, then that must mean there's something, someone down there. Your associates, no doubt? And they're just waiting for us to abandon our post before they sink out to try again to. The old man notices your approach. And you. I remember you. You appeared in my city the day the demons attacked and Trendel have died. What are you doing here? Answer at once or I'll have you strung up by your ankles before you know it. Don't think the demons have wounded me. I still have enough strength to take on a hundred of your sort. And what is this hideous creature? Hulurun peers at Lan with suspicion. Lan, at your service. The mongrel ducks his head in a bow. My forebears fought in the first crusade. I lived in Canabras my whole life. You haven't ever seen me before. Ah, that's because you don't ever venture into our underground district. We've been meaning to complain to the city authorities that our paving stones have been in need of repair for a long time. The first crusade? So you're a mongrel. <laughs> You obviously know human speech, surprisingly well in fact. Alright, let's be off with you. The prelate looks at you. If he causes any trouble, I shall hold you responsible. Come to think of it, you still haven't told me who you are. I am a crusader, I'm fine to liberate Kernabras from the demons. A crusader, you say? <laughs> I'll be looking into that. You obviously don't know to whom you're speaking. I'm the one who decides who's a crusader and who's a traitor to this city. Harun Shapok. Prelate of Canabras, by the grace of Her Majesty Queen Gallifrey, and this city's defender against threats from within and without. A.K. Major Asshole. Kill him. No, we need him. And as we can see, you've done a sterling job protecting the city. The, the golden curled Asimur flashes a flinty smile. I am Ramian of Edmi, prior of the Temple of Desna, which, alas, currently lies in ruins. Wise Horun here believes it is vital to guard this hole in the ground, from which he is certain demons will emerge at any moment. I have been trying to convince him that the city has far more urgent matters to deal with. For instance, rescuing those currently dying under the rubble. 
You know what? There may be in fact be one matter that is more important than guarding this hole. I've put it off and put it off, and look where it's led us. I should have had you hung up from the gates back when you dared to defend your gang of delinquent demon collaborators. If the Zarkorians had hanged Aru Verlash while he still had the chance, they never would have been a war. I won't repeat that mistake. I won't hesitate any longer. Soldiers, seize this scum! Yay, you get to kill him! Prelate, see reason. These are frightening times. They're threatening to hang someone without trial. That is unworthy of a servant of Iomade. The old man fixes his eyes on Sila. Lest you forget, girl, we may serve the same gods, but you are not an inquisitor. Don't question the way I choose to serve Iomade, and I won't question yours. Yeah, no, we're gonna reveal the light of heaven. Behold, Inquisitor, I bear the gifts of an angel who died in the caves below Canabras. I am no enemy of yours. The old man frowns and whispers something, a prayer or a spell. With each word, his face, is relax his face relaxes. You are telling the truth. The light in your hand was wrought by the power of heaven. I will keep an open mind with regard to you, stranger, and later, under less fractious circumstances, I would like to ask about how you came to receive this gift. But that can wait. Now I must deal with this filth once and for all. What exactly are you accusing him? Treason. Not long before the city was attacked, several followers from his temple tried to secretly access the ward stone and perform an unknown ritual over it. Holrun is trembling with fury. The ward stone of, Cur of Canabras, the gift from Iomade, the bringer of light, wrought by the hands of her herald, the first in the chain, and followers of that crazed runt of a goddess tried to meddle with it using their magic after hearing a voice in their dreams. My soldiers almost had them caught when Romaine got in the way, allowing the traitors to go to the ground. I made a mistake, and I didn't have him locked in a cell and interrogated within an inch of his life. Now the city lies in ruins. It's time to rectify that mistake. Uh, just a quick note for everyone. Desna, the god that he and his followers worship, is the goddess of dreams. Anyone who tries to dick with someone in dreams gets bitch slapped by her nine ways to Sunday. Oh yeah, Desna, I, I know a little bit about Desna from the... Actually, from the uh, Saturday Starfinder game, uh, I, I know a little bit about her. She's not someone to be best with. No. She's a very nice person. She's chaotic good. She just enjoys beauty, the night, uh, traveling, exploring, art, beauty. Uh, but you fuck with dreams, uh, you're going to get bitch slapped really, really hard. I told you, oh, this is yours. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. My people foresaw the attack on the city. They knew the ward stone already carried the seed of corruption within itself and they were simply trying to heal it. I've heard similar claims before. Now, where was it? Ah, yes, from San Vane, the traitor who brought down Dresden. Lessons of the past has taught us a great deal, and that's why I never believed you or your mom's lies, even for a second. And I was right. Don't lay a finger on him, or you're going to have to answer to me. Stop! Oh. The Stop! Asimar oh, oh go ahead. The Asimar holds up his hands in a placating gesture. Stop! You are the defenders of what remains of Cadabras. Can't you think of anything better to do than be at each other's throats in the ruins of the city? Mm. No, not really. Ramian looks at the prelate. You're a fool, Horan. You're a zealot and a murderer, but you're a fool for first and foremost. I told you that the ward stone was weakened. You wouldn't listen. I warned you that the city was going to be attacked. You shooed me away. The truth is that my young adepts were trying to save the Ward Stone, and you stopped them. Of course, those truly responsible for this tragedy are the demons, but you have done nothing to prevent it, and now you would still rather kill an innocent person and perish yourself than admit that you were wrong, as always. This guy's probably has shifted towards lawful evil. With a wave of the wand, his wand, yeah, Smurf vanishes. <laughs> but first, run away! Harun turns his attention to you. What about you? If you truly have been marked out 
for a gift from heaven. This is your chance to save the city. Go and bring back that filthy traitor. I'm almost certain that he and his cronies were helping the demons. Either knowingly or unknowingly. Their attempt to bewitch the ward stone is clear proof. Ramian must be captured. Where the city will him? be better off without you. How should I know? The weasel can't have gone far. He turned invisible. He's probably hunkered down in some hole like the traitor's little rat he is. He'll be sitting trembling and waiting until he's dragged out of there. With the prelate after you, that seems the only sensible thing to do. So what I do? I'm sure lots of things sound sensible to you. And it works too! As you can see, I'm still alive. Yeah, fuck this guy. We're gonna go. Go on then if you have to. It'd be good if you could return with the head of that scum. Hmm. Ember peers intently at Holrun. I remember you. When father and I arrived in the city, you met us. What is this gibberish? As if I have nothing better to do than to arrange meetings with vagrants. But it's true. You and the other knights tied us to the stakes and started lighting the bonfire. Father died, and then one of your knights changed his mind and pulled me from the flames. But then he died too. Don't you remember? If you were burned, then it was for good reason. You say some traitor helped you escape from the fire? That is a crime in itself, which means that you must have been evading justice all these years. If it weren't for the invasion, I would review your case and see that your sentence was finally fulfilled. You're lucky that we have more important matters to deal with right now. He looked that way he does now, old Ringo Gray. He was young with a big mustache. Ember smiles broadly and draws a large burly mustache in the air with her fingers. He probably forgot all about me. It was a long time ago. But I do want to say one thing. I'm not cross with him. This knight is a true hero. He just really, really wanted to protect his city. Only he got all mixed up about who was good and who was evil. Do you forgive him after what he did to you? He thought he was doing what was right. How do you know? Maybe you've done something you think it was a good thing, but you were really doing a bad thing that hurt someone. But what if what if I had done the same thing? You can't get angry at people for making mistakes when you might be no better than them. Let's go, Ember. Yes, let's go. Bye bye, kind knight. She waves to Holrun with a carefree smile. Holrun grimaces and turns away. Yeah, Ember has that reaction on people. She's good. Oh, oh. Hello. The demon invasion transformed all of Canaveris into one great battlefield. But nowhere in the city suffered as much as this square. This place saw a clash of titans, the demon lord Discari leading his hordes from the abyss, and the dragon Trendle of the mightiest of the city's defenders, and one of the first to fall. The scene of destruction leaves no doubt as to the battle's outcome. A skilled scout could recreate the course of the battle moment by moment simply by looking at the ruins. From the chimneys torn down by powerful wings in a sharp dive, to the bloody tracks left behind when the demons dragged away the noble reptile's broken body. But it is no hypothetical scout gazing upon the ruins, it is you, and you are not alone. The shadow of a strange, barely perceptible presence lingers over this place. I could gaze untethered from any observer, this mysterious force, unknown to mortal kind, silently assesses, judges, and seeks a better way. In an instant, Kerr is vested with his power and looks at the world with its eyes. The past, present, and future stand before him as a unified whole, an unmoving, multifaceted crystal that would be beautiful were it not for the fractures, blemishes, and flecks marring its splendor. What past do you see? <coughs> In the past exists the one who wielded this gaze of in life. Although this, the one and life are inappropriate terms for aeons, the supernatural embodiments of cosmic balance. Rather than who or what, a better word for these entities is how. This aeon appeared from outside of this world from the great beyond to put an end to the intermingling of the planes and destroy the world wound, the chasm disrupting the order of the multiverse. Alas, the visitor from beyond proved too weak for the battle they came to fight. They even failed to finish casting the spell that would have descent to sky back to the abyss. With one swing of his side, the demon lord cut the aeon down. A present you see. <clears throat> Ruins, blood, corpses, none of this perturbs the aeon's dispassionate gaze. The living are alive, the dead will be judged by Phrasma. All is as it should be. But the demons circling in the sky are prowling through the streets, create a jarring juxtaposition. Like splashes of blood red ink on a restrained pencil sketch. They should not be here. The world of mortals is for mortals. The demon's place is in the demon world. How sublime the world would be if everything in it knew its place. 
but even the demons aren't as abhorrent as the sharp-edged, unassuming crystal languishing in the dirt among the bricks. And its mere existence is an outrage against universal laws. If the Aeon still existed, they would not stop until that crystal was unmade. But the Aeon is gone, and there only their gaze remains. Kerr picks up the crystal up out of the dirt and stows it in his pocket. He is mortal, which means he has the power to decide what to do with it. What future does he see? Good and evil, chaos and order, everything in, his, in its lawful place in the multiverse and no longer trespassing where it does not belong. Nothing is disrupting the smooth and steady current of the river of souls from life to death and back to life again. The reality, rid of its flaws, is now perfect and the aeons withdraw to eternally admire its beauty, which will never be threatened again. After allowing the hero to view the world through its eyes, the little that remained of the destroyer aided Aeon. Is killed even appropriate for an entity that is so far removed from life and death that we understand them? Used up its last vestiges of energy. Now they are ready to disperse into nothingness unless someone decides to preserve the Aeon within themselves. Will the hero take on this power so that he may again look at the world through another's eyes, or will he allow it to vanish? We will retain the power within us. The spirit of the Aeon dwells out of sight, deep in Kerr's soul, like a pair of magical spectacles stowed away until the moment when the hero once again needs to look at the world through another's eyes. So far, we have collected the Aeon, Angel, and Demon Paths that we can possibly go down. So obviously, Angel and Demon are self-explanatory, but what is Aeon? Uh, Aeon are, they serve as basically the cosmic balancers. Their job and duty is to keep them. Okay, so angel is good, demon is evil, Aeon is neutral. Yeah. Um, well, you also have Lich, which is evil. Um, you have the worm that walks that's evil, the gold dragon that's good, the trickster that's chaotic. It's sort of up to you which way you want to go. We don't have to choose quite yet. But our choices will get limited depending on what we do. Hi, friends. Who wants a hug? I do. You can have a hug. We won't falter. Apparently not. I give him a hug. I'm giving a hug. Hey there, Matsu. How's it going? And yeah, they definitely have very good music in this game, Zerda. Nice. Color spray! Thunk. I'll cut you wide open! I'll use this. Streamers right after this fight. Endure this. Pop goes the cultist. Strike with all your might. Cover me, all right. Dang it. <clears throat> Color spray, baby. The inheritor, guide my blade. Make every strike. Uh, Zerda, I believe it is six. We uh, can max. Do it. Uh, six plus animal companions. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Six plus animal companions. So if any class has a uh, has one, yeah, technically, if you remade everyone to have one, you could do that. Okay. Miller. 
uh, get back up here. At your discretion. Ooh, magic half plate. That is very good. Before in the original Kingmaker game, it was so hard to get magic <laughs> items or anything at all. This game basically changed that because uh, there's a lot more fighting and such, especially in the early game. But people were complaining. It's like, we don't have the resources to do this. We constantly have to go back and rest. And then we have only this much time to do these quests. We don't have enough time to do everything without risking dying. Especially on the harder difficulties. So they fixed that a little bit with this. Which is very nice. Let's see. Half plate plus one. Sila! You get that. You are our tank. Um, back to chamber for me. Yeah, this is actually where the game first started at, right here. Is in the square. This is where Trendelove died, right here. And we fell over here. This is where we get... Ooh. This is where we're gonna get to meet the best character in the game! The Kitsune? No. Is it Fluffy? No, he's not fluffy. Is he scaly? No. Boring. <laughs> Thank the gods. I found someone who isn't fleeing in panic. Are you crusaders? Mercenaries? I'm a servant of Count Darien Kale Nevis Arande. My lord's mansion is under attack by demons. The master himself and all of his guests are trapped inside, and the house guards are nowhere to be found. I managed to escape through a servant's passage to look for help. Will you help me? The mansion is only just stone, stone throw away over on the next street. Catarande. I've seen him a few times before from afar. He looked highly audacious. I confess that he did capture my attention, but that's neither here nor there. We should help him. The gratitude of rich and influential man can only benefit us. Yeah, his family got murdered by demons a long while, about 10 years ago. You're telling me everyone tries to talk me out of taking up the position saying that it can't have been just bad luck that brought the tragedy down the family and almost killed off the line. By reason that since my master was the only one who survived the calamity, that meant he must be blessed by fate and the power of the gods. The pay was nothing to sniff at either. I should have listened to the people smarter than me and gone to work somewhere else, preferably far from here. Alright, yep. We'll go help him. Once we finish up here, that is. Because we still have a few quests to do. Because this is where we find the entrance. Onwards. I received item. Tiger. <gasps> I can summon a kitty! I have a kitty following us now, too. The hordes of the abyss march on Canabras. The wartimes are tired. They must not be allowed to capture. The consequences will be disastrous. This is new. I've never seen this before. Wait. There you are, Ramian. So you found me. I have nowhere else to run. I'm at your mercy. Kill me if you wish, but I ask that you hear me out first. Did you really know that the demon attack before it happened? I did. We have a secret ally in the enemy ranks. No one knows who this brave soul is, but she has been feeding us information from the demon's plans. I know who it is! <clears throat> These dispatches have come to us by the most reliable channel bestowed upon us by the great dreamer herself. 
They have come to us in dreams. Prelate Holrun brushed them off as meaningless reveries. And while I admit that it isn't always equal to distinguish our allies' message from ordinary dreams, but even ordinary dreams are gifts from Desna, and they are always worthy of attention. The Prelate and all the Crusade leaders for that matter should have put less store in reason, more in intuition, inspiration, and spontaneity. But more not long before the attack on the city of Blind Elf, who calls himself the Storyteller, arrived in Canabras. The Wanderer wasn't merely a collector of legends, but a scholar of the unknown. According to him, the Wardstone in our city, the first and most important in the chain of Wardstones, weakened since long ago, was teetering on the brink of corruption. It seems that the Red Morning Massacre and other demon attacks, even the ones we've had adopted, did not leave us unscathed. Unfortunately, the Prelate did not wish to listen to the Storyteller either. We're lucky that he wasn't burned at the stake as a heretic. We had such vile information in our hands, information that could have saved the city, but no one cared to listen, and it led us all the way here. Why, have it, uh, why are you and him fighting? Oh, I'm not feuding with him. I sincerely wish only the best for the man. In an ideal world, he'd be far away from the front lines enjoying a peaceful retirement, but even if that is impossible, I've always tried to help him fulfill the mission he has taken upon himself, and to which he has proved fatally ill-suited, protecting Canabras against the demons. <coughs> Unfortunately, he's convinced that the followers of Desna are heretics and saboteurs. He refused to listen to me, as, and it was only the knightly orders that deterred him from including us in his witch hunt. Now there is clearly no one left to stand in his way. He is finally free to get rid of us once and for all. Is there a chance that we can resolve your conflict? I don't know. Horun's faith is truly formidable. Not only is not only his faith in Iomade, but in his own infallibility. In other words, he's as hard headed as a rock troll, but even so, doesn't teach us to never lose hope. Talk to him. Try to explain we are fighting on the same side. If he attacks you, disarm him, bind his hands, but I beg you, if all possible, please do not kill him. Alright. We will not kill him. Wait, three of my adepts are hiding somewhere in the ruins of the city. The ones the Inquisitors wrongly accuse of treason. I beg of you, find them and protect them against the demons of vigilantes like Holrun. They will not rest until they find them. If there's anything else you can do to save Canabras, please do it. Stranger, wait. You spared Ramin despite what the mad Inquisitor told you. Oh, hang on. I forgot to remove the spell. I hope Holrun's dogs aren't, like, nearby. Pale youth materializes before you. He, his face looks haggard from lack of sleep, but is clearly pleased to be speaking to someone. So, where are your fellow worshippers and how many of them are there? Fortunately, first I don't know where they are. We split up and confused the Inquisitors who were chasing us. Need help? Doesn't teach us stress and last ditch changes. Those are my friends are called Aranka and Thal, Thal the Wallflower. Aranka is an amazing singer and a truly beautiful girl. She has plenty of friends and fans. She probably went into the crowd somewhere. I forgot Stream Raiders. Stream Raiders! Tigers are absolutely just items, you know? That That's a new thing, though. Hey, Orum! We'll, we'll get our resident, uh... Tiger expert in on this. Start the battle. So tigers are items, right? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. You're just an item. No. Yeah. No. 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 I am the tiger expert. Well, yes, and uh, you're wrong. No, you are. You don't know anything about cats. Sure, I do. I mean, I actually own a cat. I am not an item. I am a predator. I eat the things. I eat the items. Oh, oh, really? Except the round things, that's all I know. Round thing. Well, then I guess that means I should just go eat that uh, last ice cream sandwich, huh? No, that's for Chunk. No, because you would collect it otherwise, so I should go eat it. But it's not round. It's got chocolate chip. Oh, it's out round. It, which makes it not round. It's more like a. But it's already round. It's more like a starburst. No, the thing it's, is round. No, it is not round. It is uneven, and it because it, it, it's a cookie. It's it's uneven. It's all crumbly. Round things don't crumble, they roll. And that doesn't roll, it bounces. I've tried. Oh, 
Anyway. Yeah, he's definitely biased towards tigers, uh, which is why, you know, he is definitely super sus. <laughs> Not biased. Professional. On to the next battle. Yeah, no crowns to give out. Yep. Oh, uh, check the, uh, no, it wouldn't be up yet. Um, the archer to the left, that's the bomber. Just drop him anywhere that it's red. Uh, you just moved something. Hold on, guys, I need to, uh, actually, I think that's, that's fine, I can fix it later. Sorry. There you go. Uh, the guy with the bow right there. You were just on him. That's the primal. It's an archer. Okay, he didn't say archer, it said primal. It's a primal archer. Alright, back to the game. Don't forget to hide it. There we go. So you're one of the Destiny adaptives who tried to break the world stone. Yeah, they got called by uh, the goddess to try to check the stone and warn them of the corruption in it. And then Holrun was an asshole and said he was going to kill them. I'm sick of this crusader in fighting. Alright, let's go. So we'll find his friends for him. Uh, their mortal wounds were afflicted by ordinary weaponry. We got other places to explore. Do not Hi, Do friend. Not For me. Tactical retreat. No. Into the fray. Magnesium Turinos. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Go to sleep. Die, wizards! Strike with all your might! Cover me, all right? Adi, Adi, T. I can't die now. I'm not nearly rich enough. The light! Take you! Shank! Time to drink some potions. Wait, do you mean you don't just stuff your face full of uh, 3,000 uh, wheels of cheese to heal? Nope, we drink healing potions. I 
don't know. I don't know if you've got enough healing potions for all that. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Just, uh, miscellaneous stuff. Ooh. I am helpful, am I not? These are just like little nicknames. But nicknacks are nice! Treasures! Fish and foods. Fishy, fishy. Where's my fishy, fish, fish dish? Who's got fish? I want fish. Fish. Let us be off. They will break against our resolve. Oh, hi, you're all the way over there. Turning this off so we can move my guys. Because right now they're all stuck over there. This is my kind of work. I won't let you hurt my friends. There we go. I'm not sure they actually needed help. Yeah, but otherwise we're going to be second turn base mode for like the next 10 minutes. A bright future awaits us. Like the keyboard, don't you? Yeah, it's fun. So when I first uh, got this new keyboard and Kurt tested it out, he uh, let's just say he Thanks, really Lance. liked so it. Awesome, mm -hmm. And he wanted to steal it. Thank you. 
Yeah, they can get, kind of rip through them pretty quickly here. It'd be a lot faster if I didn't do turn-based mode. It's just a little bit more upkeep for me. No reason to pause. But for me right now, it's not a big deal to do this. These are easy fights. Wasn't that gold powder in there? No. Nope. Revelo, oh, dearest darling, beauty of mine, why dost thou turn thy gaze on me, pray tell? Thy husband I called a friend for a time, but love is like an ocean friendship, but well. Let's get this pile of junk moved. We have set free these people! Look, the door's open. Now we are completely at the mercy of whatever's up there, if it really is a demon. We have nothing to fear. We have the power of inspiration after all, but hand me over my ladle on that rolling pin. Meet the actors. Now look, it's not even at all. Greetings, kind friend of Oscar. I am Grandma Gretlin, theater director, and these are the members of my company. Great, that's not Leo. That's one of the props from the Malevolent Lich performance, the one Tiana made. It's a scepter or something. She made out of my ladle. She wanted us to use a broom handle, but I've paid that daft idea. Oh, I've seen your show. You are very funny, especially your play where the woman slowly climbs into the chair while singing and then falls off again. Well, it's actually a great tragedy about unrequited love. The chair you see it represents a tower of rock rising above the raging sea like the finger of a giant. In the moment, she isn't supposed to fall, but rather gracefully cascade into the swirling abyss below. But, just like I showed her a hundred times, but I'm glad you liked it. Can you get somewhere safe? Oh, don't worry on our account. We'll be going to our basement in the next street. That's where our lambkin is. We're not afraid of demons with lambkin around. Lambkin? Lambkin! Our male lead. He'll protect us. Don't worry. We know what we're doing. <laughs> I can't wait for us to meet lambkin. We get to meet them in the next chapter. Oh, alright, Zerda. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. What were you doing down there? We were rehearsing our art distracts us from our fear and panic. The dwarf waves were ladle empathetically, doing a fair impression of a conductor. Really? When I'm scared, I eat. We tried that too, but our supplies ran out. But art, oh, art is eternal. I've got to go. Thank you again for rescuing us, stranger. Today you did a great service for Manivian culture and perhaps the culture of all Glarian. You'll certainly be remembered in future eras as the one who saved the critically and publicly acclaimed next door theater. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet innocent children. I love them. Hi, I'll friends! From over there. Zambies. I will fight. Oh, they redid the zombie textures. They look a lot better. Shit, shit, shit. Well, that's not good. Shadows. Maybe you should switch back to turn. No, I knew they were coming. I got them. I just need to make sure that we killed them. Follow right me. now, for these types of fights, it's just a little bit make easier. Make every to strike quickly. count. If you don't have everyone selected again. Ember. Hello, Necromancer. The city has fallen at last. How glorious. Now I can stop pretending to be a shopkeeper and spend all my t time on my true passion reanimating the dead. Well then. <clears throat> Do not leave. Do not leave her.
shank. Sleep, save or die. She can use that at will. Ooh. Magic item. Alright, got you. Let's keep looking, everyone. There was a network error. Uh, that happens. Okay, is everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I think it's this way we want to go. Hi, Zambies. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Did we find trouble? No. They did. Into the prey! <laughs> Might be trap. Might be treasure. brains here. Oh, you don't have brains? Nope. Oh. Well, that's dumb. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, friend. Near the day, though. Rely on me. I hope you appreciate this. The light. Take him to it. Potions. Give me all your potions. I did it. It happens sometimes. And the Basu, this demon sucks the very life essence from its victims and turns them into ghouls. Hello, you. A short hooded figure is poking about some bodies lying in the middle of the street. The stranger drags the first body off the road, respectfully props it up against the wall, places the corpse's hands on his chest. The figure then freezes, his hesitating, and you see him reach out his hand towards the beautiful gilded amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, and then reaches out again. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? The stranger almost jumps out of his skin, and the hood falls from. Ugh, excuse me. Jum jumps out of his skin, and the hood falls from his head. Under a mob of red curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, phew, I thought you were the demons. Good day to you, good sir. See the eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Curl, is that you? The halfling looks at Sila and smiles broadly. Oh, Lady Sila, you're alive. Good to see you. That's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day. 
What was the first bit of good news? Stick around and see for yourself. Do you know this person, Sila? Meet Remvi, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights in the Condemned. He's one of a kind, rogue with a heart of gold. Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you should ask yourself if what you're about to do is right. The Aveling's cheeks flush and he hides his hands behind his back. I didn't, I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you tell us anything useful about what's going on in the city? I'm afraid not, good sir. I just left the Defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there. Too scared to leave. Although, spending all that time under Commander Erebus knows sure it was something. She's a strict one. Whew! And when she gets antsy... Don't even start. I've had enough of her breathing down my neck to laugh for the last lifetime. So, what are you doing here, robbing corpses? No! Rimvy Curl may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get these poor lads' body off the streets. My friends and I are on a terribly important mission we need to get through. He's interrupted by the sounds of wheels rolling on the pavilion stones. A cart drawn by a sad little horse appears from around the corner. A pretty half-elf is driving in, and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tanned face and his blue eyes shining brightly. See? A terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving a beer cart from the demons. Jeez. Oh, Ellen of the Hound Hearts. As he's speaking, the newcomers notice you. The knight cries out in jubilation. Sela, I thought you'd never see you again. I thought you were headed to the main square, the center of the demon's attack. The half-elf smiles warmly at Sela. Hey friend, glad to see you're alright. When we got separated by the crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized that was the reason why I had been so anxious. But I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so my, I kept my hopes up and I was proved right. Sela's face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news Curl was talking about. You and Janna are alive. Actually, by good news, I meant that we found the beer cart. Sir Ellen and Janna being alive amounts to a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. I'm sure we can all do with a drink. That elf winks rackishly. Certainly, give me your flash, friend. And if you walk with us to the Defender's Heart, we can have a more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. Janna, there's no need. The heart is very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off an attack if there is one. Besides, our friend here surely has better things to do, more important things than carrying barrels of beer, I wager. You haven't told us about what you know, how you know Sila. I'll save that story till we're back at Defender's Heart. You're going back there, aren't you? We'll have a reason to toast our spoils. I gotta go. So long, we'll sure to meet again either in this city or at Defender's Heart. Sure you will. Come to the tavern. We'll celebrate the valiant rescue of this barrel together. So, fun fact, if you don't find those people here, they die. Oh, of course. I can't right now. I am streaming. Not that much. Oh, hey, there's a foxy. I have a kitty with me. Uh, I think he's referring to your portrait. Oh, yeah. And no, he's playing a human. He's just using a kitsune. Uh, Do not fear. Do not I... waver. I'm sorry I have to do this. That's what I keep asking. That's <sighs> <sighs> uh, okay. We love him anyways. Well... Pathfinder of Wrath of the Righteous. Just came out yesterday. Keeping you from leaving. 
Watch it, watch it. What are you guns doing? You'll bloody crush me. A young tiefling lies trapped in a collapsed section of a tunnel. Another two tieflings scramble around, trying in vain to free him from the rubble. Quit. Quit whining. Hey, alarm, someone's coming. Maybe it'll help us. Wise up, would you, before he gets killed. Let's make a run for it while we still can. No, come on, don't leave me here. I'll die here. Hey, guys, you're in a bit of a jam. Get a load of this lot. And no escort either. We'll drift you, little shit. How are you not dead yet? And who's that with you? They're friends of mine. Great guys. This is not how you do a thumb floor. I still win. We're going to try to get him out of the rubble. Alright, I will let you go now. Yes, we succeeded! I won. We have freed the trapped tiefling. Whew. I'm alive and all in one piece, give or take. Thank you. I'll remember your kindness for the rest of my life. And you two clowns, I don't want to hear a word out of you. Get into this tunnel now. One trip just to the Grey Garrison and back. Don't be a coward. Let's not go any collapse. Go or else we all came all this way for nothing. That ended well, didn't it? Wes, not, not now. Talk later. Who are you? All right, all right, don't hurt us, please. Who calls us tieflings? We, 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 we kind of skirt around the edges of the law. That's how we make our living. Thieflings. Say some tyrant bans books that show stuff you don't like or fancy Kionin wine you don't drink. Is it wrong if we step in to fill the gap in the market? There's a demand for it. Someone's got to sell it. Don't go thinking we're gangsters or anything. Our only concern is making the lives of citizens easier for a little coin. People in this city can't even breathe without bringing some stupid regulation or restriction. Take this tunnel, this is that collapse on top of our friend, for instance. Leads straight to the Grey Garrison. Thanks to it, any soldier whose throat's feeling a little dry or who's well, or who's needing some nighttime reading material, we can get all the things from him that his heartless superiors refuse to. We're providing a public service. I helped you. Now you come help me and Commander Tierbid save Canabras. The militia needs people with various skills, even ones as unusual as yours. You what? Are you blind or something? No people call us. A red loose spawn. That's this is one of the nicer nicknames. Crusaders and tieflings don't mix. We'll be torched on sight. Oh, Tierbid? Earbith Ir Tierbid from the Eagle Watch? Lads, we have to help her. She's one of the only big shots in this town that actually treats us with any decency. I should reach our neck for the Crusaders. Because Erebeth risked her neck for ours. She saved me from that creep hole rune, and me straight out of his torture chamber. Only a worthless tow rag would refuse to help her out after that. <laughs> nuh uh. I'm not saying any more of this. You, you do what you want, I'm heading to the River Kingdoms. Go on then. I'm going with the Crusaders, and I'm going to help round up the others to help. We made some good money in the city. It'd be shame to send our meal ticket to the demons. But enough yammering. So long. And we've recruited them to our crusade. They will help us in the final battle at the end of this chapter. And now we just got... And we have our tunnel now to the Grey Garrison. So if we actually wanted to, we could go right to the end of the chapter right now. But that's not something you want to do. You want to do side quests in this game. Let's move. This is new. This is very new. That's not there before. Oh. Okay. That's very new. A bolt that deals 50 damage that I can't miss. I'm going to save just to make sure I don't lose anything from today's game. Guys, I just want to tell you all that Kerr is super adorable. Alright, let's tell this asshole he can call up his things. I talked to Ryan, I mean, he's not your enemy. He only wants what's good with Kurt and Abris. I consider those words an admission of treason from anyone else, but I don't wish to draw my weapon against someone who's been given heaven's gift. And I won't, as long as you don't do anything worse than conniving with that rabble rousal rat man. Yeah, if you don't show him the light of heaven, he will try to kill you here for doing this. Damn it. I would have liked to see him dead. No, he's important because now we can recruit him. Do not recruit him. I need him. He's important. Also, Stream Raiders is ready. Right. 
The forces are near Dusk, where Irbit Tirbid, warden of the city, is gathering troops in the Defender's Heart Tavern to strike against the demons. But now, Tirbid, that upstart, warden of the city? And I suppose I've already been written off for dead. This isn't sedition. This is outright insurrection! I am loath to abandon my watch, but I can't turn a blind eye to such blatant usurpation of power. We have no hope of defeating the enemy. There's disorder within our own ranks. I'm going over there right now. I need to see what this Irbeth is up to. And we have recruited him to the crusade. It's important he shows up and helps us out later. And that fight is really tough without his people. Stream Raiders. Okay. Stream Raiders! Bow, bow, bow. He's loving it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Come on, click. Your mouse is so sensitive. You get used to it. I couldn't have it uh, any other way. No, no, Toshime. It's Brothel Mao. You see. Do, 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 do. Brothel Mao. Do, 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 do. Brothel Mao. Do 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 Kerr is taking this moment to look at uh, magic spoilers. Hunky. <laughs> Victory! Alright, no crowns to give out. But congrats on the gold dragon, Cobalt. Yeah, Kerr is very distracted by magic spoilers. No, I was just waiting. Right. Next one. A loyalty skin chest. Uh, scroll all the way to the right. Um hover over the guy with the big sword and the armor. Okay, not him. Uh, two to the left. Uh, bring the uh, guy with the, the Anubis. The monk. This one? Yeah. Put him more in the middle. Yeah. All right, go place your troops, everyone. Now back to the game. Do 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 We can go meet the best character in this game. You get the Cadillac. <laughs> Alright. This right here, this is the Abyssal Corruption whenever you rest. You want to avoid resting in areas that give high. I'm guessing that means that the demons will overrun your camp? No, uh, Abyssal Corruption gives you negatives. Ah. So you just have to be careful about... You get rid of it by resting in Defender's Heart in this area. Ah. Or going back to your camp in the other areas. So we've cleared this now so we can actually pass through. So we want to head to the Arande Party House. 
Here's her. Oh, oh, we're about to meet her. We are about to meet her. Who? The kid soon. Oh yay! I think. We'll see. Yep, this is her. Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self. Bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What? <laughs> That I don't know her. <clears throat> well, they actually voice this entire thing. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. Shrug. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Actually, it's Erzegul, a glaive made of red adamantium. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the Great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. It's an Orok, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. <laughs> it appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. <laughs> hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Ask them some more, they might still manage it. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. <laughs> I love Nenyo. Please. Ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? Oh no! B A F A. Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks! Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. <laughs> they will break against our I love Nenio, she's great. <laughs> yeah, 
absence of an answer is an answer, too. Speak up! The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, boy? <clears throat> Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? It's red and whites. This answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabra's today. Let's proceed. Did Aradin take part in any crusade before he died? Uh, no, he did not. He died beforehand. Your answer is correct. Aradin's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the world wound was opened. The first crusade started back in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border acquisitor of the shapeless abyss? Architect of the world wound. That's correct. Most excellent. You successfully answered all of my questions. Splendid. Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This... Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. And I must admit that you passed the test with flying colors. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of Crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. Why do you keep calling me boy? I have a name, you know. I apologize for an injury to your ego, but your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I prefer to not know it at all. Canabras isn't safe right now. Shall we join forces? Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the world wound? To assist me in my experiments? <laughs> to run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. <sighs> Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. I agree, yeah. Excellent. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Wonder why, Nenio. I wonder why. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. She knows create pits. I'll probably redo her actually. As I'll keep her a wizard, but I'll just change her spell list and everything to what I want her to have. Ooh, masterwork. Now let's continue. Now let's continue to the best character in the entire game. Didn't you say she's a kitsune? She's a kitsune. 
Well, then turn her to her kids in I can't do that until I uh, do more with her. Lame. I do that in this. I can do this by talking with her. I okay. can learn. <clears throat> ah, I love this guy. This guy is amazing. What a splendid occasion, Count. This new Numerian elixir is quite something. Oh look, such darling little creatures. The demons, help! Wonderful, now brace yourself for the smell of your own blood, you ghastly eyesore. Go to town, my boys. This is also a nightmare to do on the normal rounds. If you look, every single person here has a turn and does something. Ah. So I'm just gonna let my guys go to town on them. Darien! Get ready. Get ready to meet the best character. Oh boy. Greetings, valiant stranger who has just burst into my life. I am the master of this house, Count Daron Kale, Myriad Mellifluous Monikers Arunde. No need to introduce yourself. I find remembering insignificant details, such as the name of passing acquaintances, such a bore. Well then! Wow, bona fide blue bloods and unparalleled aristocracy. All this makes me itch to do something really crass. Ooh, like blow my nose on the curtains. What are you waiting for, my squamous squire? The curtains in this room are velvet, but we have some excellent silk ones with gold thread elsewhere in the house. Take your pick. My soft furnishings are yours to do with as you wish. I'm quite sick of the place, truly. I shall either sell it or burn it to the ground and build a new mansion in its place. <laughs> well! Now that we've finished with the niceties, tell me this. How did all those thrice damned demons end up at my soiree? Oh, come. The party was deathly dull. Rather like one of the prelate's interminable sermons. I really ought to be grateful to the demons for their intrusion. They certainly added a frisson to the proceedings. It seems as though Discari's occasion was altogether more of a crush than mine. If you will pardon the pun. What should I know about you, Count, apart from the fact that you're highborn and very rich? As a child, I had my very own pony. But I always dreamed of having a lamb. I was never allowed one. Sheep were seen as peasant animals, utterly unsuitable for the scion of a noble line. The trauma haunts me to this day. I think of it every time I have roast lamb for dinner. I both want to kill this guy and just be like, I like him, but I hate him. Yes, that's the reaction. You can, you can romance him, by the way. He's he's great. I love him. I'm sorry that happened to you. Such a sad story. I had not even the slightest intention of upsetting such a lovely child. I'm not lovely. Some people have even called me a scarecrow before. That's patently absurd. Why, you can't possibly be a scarecrow with a crow following you around. <laughs> I'm sorry if I failed to sate your curiosity. I loathe talking about myself to people I don't know, even more to those I do know. The only thing worth knowing, aside from the fact that I am highborn and filthy rich, is that I dislike Puritans and demons in equal measure. Well, perhaps demons a tad more. You don't seem very concerned about the city's fate. I have no friends here whose untimely demise I would care to mourn. The only alarming thing is how easily all this happened. 
I don't care for the thought that demons could come calling at my door at any moment. And just think, everyone had so much faith in the ward stones gifted by Iomide's herald and in the might of our tamed dragon. As if there had been no Dresden or a dozen other routes where the demons overcame every defense. The Arendes are one of the most ancient and noble families in Mendiv. They are related by blood to Queen Galfrey herself. The Count is the last remaining member of his dynasty. The rest all perished around ten years ago. In the tragedy at the family seat, Heaven's Edge, the demons got past the defenses and massacred everyone inside. Yeah, he's the cousin of the queen. Hey. We do get to meet the queen very soon. It's great seeing these two interact. I thank you for providing your friend with that helpful summary, my lady. I believe I've seen you before with that hilarious buffoon, Horgus Gworm. I sincerely hope you are not engaged in any kind of sordid arrangement with him. The thought of something so splendid in proximity to something so grotesque makes me feel quite ill. You deserve a better fate than that, no doubt. Your civility knows no bounds, Count. I most assuredly do not have any arrangement with Master Worm. Of course, of course, where are my manners? There. Gives you a ring. You can also poke about the house and claim whatever takes your fancy. Though I imagine some of you already had that in mind. You can go to the Defender's Heart and send to the protection. I thank you for the invitation. But I am not quite as desperate as I may seem. At times, it is better to be surrounded by the repugnant mugs of demons than the sour and dour physiognomies of Iomade's righteous paladins. What about my physiognomy? Sour enough for his lordship? Don't worry, another few minutes with the dazzling count here, and it'll sour like weak old milk. <laughs> What's this? An attractive paladin with a sense of humor? You're a veritable walking scandal. Either way, my mansion is now safe. I have a pair of half-decent guards. I just need to drag them out of the storeroom and bring them to their senses. I ordered them to drink a love potion, you see? For reasons which seemed extremely witty at the time and in the state of inebriation I then found myself in. They can guard the house while the valorous paladins beat back the demon assault. They will beat them back, yes? As regards myself, I feel like stretching my legs. I know rudimentary divine spells, I am no friend to demons, and I elevate any society that I deign to grace with my presence. I shall accompany <laughs> you, only for a short time, of course. I have no desire to remain at the vanguard for a protracted period. What say you, my ephemeral but highly diverting acquaintance? After all, Lord Descari spoiled my party. I now burn with the desire to spoil his. <laughs> I don't like this guy much at all. Not even because of his personality, but just... I sense something dark about him. That's her detect evil going off. <laughs> Darian is neutral evil in alignment. Ah. He's a very well done neutral evil character. All he cares about is himself, really. And he's just delightful. I guess thumping him one next time he comes out with more aristocratic witterings is not allowed? All the more reason to take him with us. If we don't kill him, the demons surely will. <laughs> he has all these friends at his party, and he still looks so lonely. We can take him with us. Maybe it will make him feel better? The Count's presence can only benefit us. I think we should say yes. Hmm? Huh? What? You're asking about whether to take this boy with you? The question lies outside the bounds of my interest. By the way, did you know that the young scions of noble families often sponsor the research of young scientists? What laudable passion for knowledge. True, the size of their donations bears a direct correlation to the hazardousness of the experiment being conducted. Capital. Good acquaintances that begin and end at just the right moment often leave the most pleasant memories. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> All right, Ember, I'm draining you out for him. 
Darian is a Asimer, which is actually an angel blood. Uh, he is a oracle of life. So healing is what he is good at. Healing is what his talents lie in. And he's just delightful though because he is such a pompous asshole. But he's not always like a complete asshole because you kind of agree with the things he's saying. Yeah. You like and hate him. Oh yeah, I know. You you absolutely can hate him with some of the things he says. But it's like whenever he insults the people that you really don't like, it's like he's not wrong. Or he says the things you want to say. Ooh, also we have almost leveled up to four. Also, it really helps being in our party because um he lets us cast um one of his best abilities. Oh, channel li pleasure. channel energy. Oh yes, you love your channel energy. It's really good for for life, and he has some very, very good spells. Hello. Alright. So we got this. So let's mosey on out, everyone. March on. Parkour! Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. All these drunk nobles. Ooh, that's a magic bardish. Why did one of those nobles have a vial of blood? That was the, one of the wizards. Oh. The dark ones. So we can head there. We probably want to rest. Cause I can prepare spells right now. I need to prepare her spells. So we'll probably head back to Defender's Heart to rest. So we'll head back, cause my characters will probably be getting close to. Kill them all, baby! Let's have some fun. Oh, you poor innocent cinnamon roll. <laughs> you poor innocent cinnamon roll, you. Thank you for the items. I appreciate it. I yeah, like some really nice items. Mm -hmm. Darian is also going to learn one of the best spells in the entire game. Uh, summon Undead. Oh, third level spell. So good. So good. Yeah, we're not killing Ramian. Oh, shit. I gotta go back here. There was someone I need to talk to. I for completely forgot to talk to her because I got completely caught up with him. Forget it. I gotta talk to her. Oh, they changed her model. That's nice. I'm a friend of Ilk's, the, uh, person. So we need to get you. Who's your third member of your group? Don't know where he is, but I do. We get her shawl so that we can wrap it around my arm, and if he sees it, he'll know. Ah. And then we will head off. What, you're not going to ask them about going somewhere safe? They're going to stay here at the manor. The manor's safe right now. Splendidly. Also, we leveled up. Do 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 do. Just so everybody knows, Kerr just did an adorable little dance. Also, you know how um, you were complaining that you can't use like dexterity for damage in this game and such? There's a mythic feat that you can get that allow you to do that. Oh, cool. Mm hmm. You just don't get you don't get access to the mythic feats or abilities until you complete the first chapter. Okay. So it's around level five or six, I think, if you do all the side quests. 
you hear the screeching of an owl, you hear the wind begin to hear. Slayer talents. Hmm, let's see what we got. See if there's anything good. Uncanny Dodge isn't bad. Uncanny Dodge. And eh, I don't think we really need that though. Oh. Now I think we just want feats. Feats are really good. We are going to be dual wielding rapiers, I believe. Actually, wait. Let's see what else we can get real quick. Ooh, improved initiative is good, but Prana Strike is really nice. Yeah, we're gonna get Prana Strike, because that'll give us some more damage. Sila! Oh, she gets channel energy now, too. We are gonna give her a point of cha. Cha cha cha. Oh. Okay, yeah, that goes off their bonus spells for cha. This will increase her all of her saves by one, and it will let her get her spells once she levels up again. Um, we want world mobility is useless for her because she's in armor. Oh, she does get her spells at this level. Excellent. This is something that nice they added before. Neither game had this. They have an ability now where you can dismiss any spell that you have cast. That character can dismiss their spells. Oh. So you can end the spell early. Because before you used to have to wait out however many minutes of grease there were. And hope your people could get up. Okay. Yeah, Dex is good. Just double checking what she's getting. Those are fine. Battlemaster. Battlemaster, I think, is good. Yes, extra attack of opportunities and considered to have combat reflexes. You get weapon specialization at level 18, and level 16, you get greater weapon focus, which is very good for her. Let me just finish leveling up. Over. Actually, no. We can just do this real quick. Stream Raiders. All right, let's start this battle. I'm gonna go click to reload back.
Victory is ours. Victory screech. No crowns to give out. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Ah, uh, click the pick winner for the gold. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that goes to someone that's actually here. Which the only one would be Dragon Cobalt. Now you can grant rewards. For something that's significant, I want to make sure it goes to a viewer. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. For this one, I'd say bring the Centurion over on the left. Actually, use the vampire right there on the right. Place your troops, everybody. Let's head back to Defender's Heart to rest for the night. Leveling up, I forgot about that. So what is his class? He is a Zen Archer monk. Oh, right. That's right. He is a monk that uses a bow. Um. Scorching Ray. Pew pew. Animal aspect. It gives you um, special abilities, like increases your dexterity by two, your strength by two, gives you better perception, things like that. Why would you get that instead of like foxes cunning and such? Lasts longer. Ah. Also, you can basically you can include all those in one spell. Okay.
Darian and her are both going to go into Summon Monster because Summon Monster is one of the best spells in the entire game. Thought that might happen. Hey, friends, we're gonna murder you. Save the last one for me. Oh, you poor sweet cinnamon roll. We're gonna kill these uh these travelers. We're gonna murder them and rob them blind. You poor sweet innocent cinnamon rolls. You have no idea who you just tried to rob. Let us be off. If an angel can follow, does that mean a demon can ascend? Yes, yes it can. You were playing one of those. This is the game actually that set it up. <laughs> she can join our party. Actually, let's head to the Black Moon Library. Because I know this is a little bit of a time-sensitive thing, but I don't know how much time we actually have. I think we have plenty of it. I like how you're seeing all of these things on the map. Oh, like the places and such? Yeah. I'm going to save real quick. And we're going to rest here. Because you can see the Abyssal Corruption, what it would be normally. So... Um. We're gonna cook a hearty meal. Now we get a little dialogue between everyone. Some cracked open your golden shell and left you to fend for yourself in the road. What would happen, Count? Oh, I didn't bring up the uh, little screen because we're not actually in an area. Eh, it's fine. I do not know, but it would be amusing to swap places with you for a day. What do you say, Lan? How would it feel to inhabit my golden shell in a world of plots, prejudice, and high expectations? It shows their little dialogue over their portraits, though. And now we get the bonus of a hearty meal. Yeah, as long as we keep this under one, we're okay. We want to enter that location. It should be illegal to waste your time on anything you do not enjoy. I Dar agree. Darren Arande. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. We will win you can this trust war. Me. Hmm? Oh, yes, what? So what are you looking at there? I These are the, their, their spells, right here. Oh, this will be fun. Can't hide from me. Has been ravaged and right to the most barbaric ways. It seems someone took perverse pleasure in smashing lamps and furniture.
Because I'll keep the stream going. Alright. If that's okay. Except for us, set up real quick. They need foods. We need food. Feed the tiger. Or the burrito. There you go. Try to keep it under a hundred if you can, please. Yeah. Thank you. Anything I'm grabbing is going to be under my A sake knight with a head of messy black hair stands before you. His armor is spattered with blood. He greets with a deep, booming voice. If you come here later, if you, like, dick around or do all the side quests first and leave this area for last, these people will be burned alive before you get here. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so it's a big deal if you cut you to get here before that happens. <laughs> Crusader is excellent. I am Captain Caleb Sazomal. And these are my men. I am about to burn these vile backstabbers and heretics here. These two pathetic imitators of the traitor Arielu, who tricked their way into the ranks of the Crusaders. The knight nods at a heap of severely beaten people and a strange elf whose appearance seems jarring for some reason. Sazomal bellows threats at his prisoners who seem to be in a state of deep shock and utter terror. A strange feeling rises up within you. It is pure instinct. You don't know what you're about to do, but you're certain that it is right. Perception. Take a closer look at these people. Examine their symbols. Yeah, these aren't right. And now we can do the trickster path. Hey, read that stuff out. Oh. You notice that the emblems on the armor of the two silent crusaders belong to the Order of the Flaming Lance, but Caleb's armor bears the sigil of the Order of the Sunrise Sword. Strange then that he introduces himself as their captain. Something's not right here. Chaotic requires trickster mythic path. This is what sets you on the trickster mythic path so you can do it later. Give in to the strange instinct. Idiot, stop. Heed my command in the name of Baphomet. The words fly out of your mouth before you can even think them. Some gut instinct told you that this is precisely what needs to be said in this moment. And the words hit their target. The crusaders jump in surprise and look at each other in terror. The corners of Darren's mouth are twitching like he's struggling with all his might not to burst out laughing. Caleb leads to attention and bark out. Sorry, couldn't have known. We'll fix it right away, sir. An inexplicable feeling of righteousness, of rightness flows through you. You enjoy seeing the look of oafish terror on the face of this crusader and his lackeys when you rebuke him for their feckleness. Listen to your gut. Stop wasting valuable fuel. If you like brain books, go read the Gary Garrison Library. Our enemies might try to sneak in there. Step on it. Darren looks at you with amused curiosity and speaks in a soft voice. I do enjoy your sense of humor. It's quite fiery. Blow me kiss. Mind the fire, you'll get burned. Darren lowers his lashes with a slight smirk. Thanks for the warning, but I'm absolutely fire resistant, even if the flame is ever so charming. There's plenty more where this came from, sir. I'll do everything you've ordered, and as soon as those crusaders arrive, they'll be dead meat. I'll go make sure that we get another no, they get another two barrels of alchemist fire from the Gary Garrison storeroom. Things are going to burn right up in there. So, fun fact, in the original beta, nothing happened with this. They just leave, and we don't see them again. Now, when we're invading the Great Garrison at the end, when we have to attack a room full of wizards, it's a really tough fight, it's going to blow up and kill everyone in there. Excellent. It's great watching it. Let's go help these people. Let's move. I found Ooh, a book. Uh. Something. This experiment has gone awry. Oof. Follow me. Did not make it. What's that? Ooh, another book. But if one person didn't make it, then by RPG law, every other player gets a try. Nope. Nope. Once you fail, you fail. March on. But now, since we saved these people, 
we will have a haste spell that will last for 24 hours cast on us when we invade the Great Garrison. Oh, hey, it's a storyteller. Oh, he has a picture now. He did not have a portrait before. A blind elf stands before you. He looks extremely strange. His face wears its ears heavily, which is unusual for members of his race. Thinning gray hair, ragged beard, sightless milky eyes, pale peppery skin, covered in age spots, a spine curved by the passage of time. This is not how elves typically age. The youth that graces the face of elves, even on their deathbed, has totally abandoned this decrepit specimen. <gasps> this is an elf for the beard. I guess the worst can be found even among the best. <laughs> Excuse me. Bearded elf, how very intriguing. If you please, I would like to pluck out a hair of this phenomenal man. <gasps> Excuse me, uh, this phenomenon manifesting on your chin. In the interest of science, of course. Kerr's got the hiccups. <laughs> God, ah! Uh, it's just coming! I will hug him away. Ah, uh, he's gonna kill me, everyone! Send help! You're the one holding me at gunpoint. No, I'm not. To play this game? Yes. <laughs> and? You wanted to ditch me. Uh, he's gonna squeeze the life out of me, everyone. Send help. I'm just squeezing the hiccups away. But game, it okay, calls to fine. me. Hello, I am Storyteller, and I wish to thank my rescuers. That is you, if, you're not, if I'm not mistaken. Who are you? I review you to call me Storyteller. It is very accurately describes the sphere of my occupation and interest. In most places I've been, I am known by that name. You have piqued my curiosity. A storyteller? Are you a bard? If so, you should come perform at one of my parties instead of knocking about in this dusty library. A bard, in some sense, yes. I'm not the type of bard that performs at festivities. I think your guests would lose their appetites after hearing my tales. What a shame, and I was so hoping to will you out for my guests. With your unusual appearance, you have caused quite the scandal. But lugubrious bards are of no use to me. Half the bards in the city are the same. Their repertoire is so confined to the one about longing. The one that causes indigestion, the one that's a complete waste of time. I mean, really, how is one supposed to host a party with that? I want to talk to you about something. The elf responds with dignity and courtesy, but firmly. And thanks for my rescue, I, of course, will render you a service in turn, how, whatever it may be. However, at this moment, I wish to be somewhere safer than the present surroundings. My recent adventure has fatigued me greatly. I'd be grateful if you could help me to a safe shelter of some kind. I shall take you to the Defender's Heart. Please accept my severe, sincere thanks once again. If I may, please do not rush. I'll try to keep up with you with your young legs. And I'm not the only one who's thankful to you. The young crusaders over there is eager to give you his regards, but he's too shy to approach you. I can tell you from his quickened breathing. We reach a safe place. Take pity on the lad and accept his thanks. Uh, who are you? We are crusaders of the Order of the Flaming Lance. Our order is dedicated to the fear the pursuit of hidden knowledge and magical methods of fighting the demons. We are searching for our leader, Sister Milamar, a scholar. She spent the last few weeks here working day and night on some more research. When the demons attacked the city, we rushed here to find her, but it seems she left shortly before the attack began. Myanmar, huh? I don't recall that which means this girl's scholarly contribution can have been significant. And her actions do intrigue me. If the opportunity arrives, I'd like to find out what experiments she carried out. Alright. How'd you end this trap? Chairman is the door. He seemed a faithful and passionate crusader, and we didn't expect a thing until they attacked us from behind and knocked us out. We didn't expect such trickery. Most of our orders' brethren were dead, and we were desperate to leave this man armored with a feather crusader. Comrade, while we were unconscious, they removed our armor and tossed us in the pyre of books. What mocker were blasphemy. Alright, go ahead, Defender's Heart. There are people gathering there to fight. See, so still fights? Well, wow, that's incredible news. We'll go to our sanctuary guarded by our orders, brother, sister. We'll bring them to Defender's Heart. Now we talk to the storyteller. I'm taking you to Defender's Heart. Yes, we want to go there now. This will take us immediately without having to worry about getting in trouble.
right. Back in it to win it. Onwards. Let's go deal with this guy, because I've never dealt with this one before. Oh, hi friend. Render hard to greet you with unexpected liveliness. Beyond the walls of the tavern, the one's bustling and fist of city lies in ruins. But somehow, none of that can be felt within these walls. The people in this room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. It doesn't look like the typical tavern revelry, but nor is it the grim vigilance of recent days. Celia waves to you. She is sitting at the table with the trio you met previously, the knight, the half elf, the red headed halfling. Kerr, come, let me probably introduce you to Ellen, Cannell, and Kerr, the fearless warriors of the League of the Inspiring Cart. Sheila pushes a mug of beer towards you and speaks softly. It was me who convinced you about to use what Janet Curl and Alan found for a low party. If you look out the window, you might think the end times would come and the abysses devoured us all. I thought some simple pleasures, good food, and good company could help keep the gloom at bay. Yep, we're going to be good. Important to stay hydrated. Let me declare my support for Sila's decision as well. Experience tells me that we should shed no tears until after our victory. If we start to mourn the fallen while the battle is still raging, it will be jeopardizing our efforts. Now is the time for rest. We will bury the dead after the last demon has been driven from Canabras. Hey, are we just going to sit here with grim faces as we get to know each other a little better so we have a better reason to toast? Uh... Stories go, it's not very entertaining. I was born from, from the south of Adora. I lost my parents early, led to the life of a simple mercenary, but I often questioned the path I had chosen. I'm proud of my sword skills. I enjoy training and drills, and I'm not afraid of battle. For instance, in my life for coin, it takes special mindset to choose that law with no regrets. You have to tip one to risk your blood. I saw too many of my friends die, and I wondered if it was worth it. So in the end, I decided to choose another path. Now if I'm going to lay down my life, at least it will be for a good cause. That's how I ended up in Mendev and became a squire for the Hound Hearts. It's a small order by tradition. It's never been more than 12 members. And new members only night after one of the Elder dies. We patrol the lands along the Wardstone line and provide aid to travelers and settlers. Fortunately, death is common among the Hound Hearts. I became a full knight two years ago after laying my mentor to rest. But I'm content with my choice. My place is among the Crusaders. How do you all know Sila? I met my noble sister on the road to Canabras. I was turned from the south from, from my fiance and was happy to be in the company of a paladin of my own day. We said our farewells at the city gates and I went north along the road to Dresden uh, to my worst camps. The demons attacked us there at the same time they stuck Canabras, but we managed to fight them off. We hurried to the city's aids and joined forces with the Eagle's Watch. All my fellow hound hearts were wounded during the battle on the streets. I'm the last time my order can still fight. It's good to see Sila again, even loyal heart counts these every loyal heart counts these days. I met Sila at a tavern in Canabras before the attack. Of course, she was one of the few who would sit at table with the condemned. I see she don't even look at us, but Sila is different. I knew it the moment I saw her. That's what made me know Sila too, so I sat down and talked to her. I never understood why anyone, everyone treated the condemned so horribly, and I still don't. Our curl is a great lad, so after that night, Sila and I went around to the taverns together every day. Mendev is an amazing place. People from all over the world come here for glory, redemption, or to help those in trouble, and they always find each other. This might be the best place in the world to find like-minded people and friends. That was a toast in case you didn't notice. Call me over just because. I just want to talk about today's celebration. You see, Alain is in trouble. I want to help him, and I don't know anyone else in the city I can turn to. His fellow knights were all wounded in battle. Bad idea, sister. I told you. I don't want to bother anyone else with my problems. I need to handle them on my own. Oh, come on, hiding your status from your friends is no way to live. Curl's right. Kerr helped me find you without his help. I'd still be looking for you all over Canopolis. So, Ellen, came. come on, stop being so stubborn. The only knight shakes his head. In all truth, I do not wish to impose. My problems are just minor troubles. Pound of Iomade and her fr Sorry, everyone. Here you go. I'll be back soon. Pound of Iomade and her friends certainly have more important things to do, especially now that Canabras has been overrun with demons. If I learned everything in life, that there's nothing minor about good and evil. 
Take the three of you, for example. It seems like all you did was save one card from some lesser demons. Look at how many people are happy now. That feat will never be sung off in song, but who knows, maybe thanks to this one joyous hour of peace and rest, the defenders of Canavers will find the strength to protect the city. I talk too much, don't I? Well, Sir Alan, I want to help you, and my, re and my reputation as a holy war of Iomade won't suffer if it's a minor adventure than a glorious feat. Uh, the night sighs and seems a little embarrassed. All right, I'll explain the life of a crusader is giving me more than just a purpose and a chance to serve a righteous cause. When I abandoned the life of a mercenary and came to Mendev, I gained something else I never expected. It's here that I met my old ladies here. Forgive me, the finest girl in all the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a bungler like me, but I'm not about to let that miracle go. Not even the demon lord Discari and all of his demon army can stand in the way. Luckily, my beloved is now safely away from Canabras. For half a year, I've been getting up the courage to propose to her. I even ordered a, ri a ring from Derek Sunhammer, the best jeweler in Mendev. Independent nightly orders to live mostly off donations. I'm not what you would call rich, but I'm so I so want to make Kiana happy. Oh, it took me three months to find a jewel of the same shade as her eyes, and twice that long to scrape together enough money. Master Derek's worth was worth it, but I lost the ring during the demon attack, and I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. That ring is still most likely at the Hound Hearts camp outside the city. Lana's friends didn't have time to pack up their camp. First the demons ambush and then they rush up to help Canabras. And we should at least go there and check. Now right now, of course, once the situation in the city is under control. Yep, we'll help. Of course, the League is inspiring cards come together in this dark hour. We must continue onward together. Oh, they added more stuff. Usually just ends there. Ah, I'm learning a lot of new stuff. That's why I clicked through it. I didn't realize. Porn. How may I help? Perception! His face is just as impassive as before. What are you keeping from us, mister? A trow? Unlikely. It's more possible that her dark service has left a brand similar to the one that twisted the entire cursed driveway. So this is, I would think. I mate, Kalasa. His expression remains calm, but his entire body tenses his fingers wrap around the handle of his weapon. Under what circumstances, I hope you seize the opportunity to kill her. Are you certain of your allegiances? He lowers his head and says in a hollow voice, I am. Her misdeeds are terrible and proven with absolute certainty. She claims she doesn't serve the demons. Of course she does, not in an attempt to buy her life, she would stoop to the bulls and the most egregious of lies. Whose word do you trust, hers or mine? I let her go. I can give you a sound look for and stares off into the distance. Your decision is regrettable. I'm afraid that in doing so, you condemn her many future victims to death. So it just means I'll be wearing this hunt to a close that falls upon my shoulders. I'd like to know more about you. I feel tend to believe their identity is some of a person's actions and the events that happen to them. For them, I'm one of a long line of warriors of Kionin, who, since his youth, has dedicated himself to hunting evil and injustice. For them, I am a successful and capable huntsman who has tracked down and a great many monsters. Okay, we already know that stuff. So I'll probably see him again. Let's go talk to the storyteller up here. We got his ring. Is that you, my savior? I recognize your footsteps. I thank you again for saving me. I please accept this humble gift as my token of appreciation. I warn the authorities of the... Arabeth has explained why you were looking for me. I warn the authorities of Cadabras. <laughs> now the local ward store has been desecrated. They waved off my warning and paid for their inaction. I've examined many ward stones, but only in the one guarding Cadabras I sense a flaw. A spot of corruption inside, a vulnerability the demons will surely use. They are able to spread the blight inside the wardstone, corrupt and make it their weapon. It frightens me to think of what it might be capable of. The wardstone must be destroyed. Stream Raiders!
Oh, we got all the people throwing stuff down. Alright, let's start the battle. I have a CC on my lap. Victory! Alright, looks like no crowns to give out. Giant Kobold, looks like you got some gold. On to the next battle. Place your troops, everybody, and back to the game. I had a kitty on my lap and she's being adorable. What blight is concealed in the wardstone? I'm afraid I don't have the answer to your question. To understand the nature of this blight, we seem to understand how the wardstone was created, and it is hidden from me. I can only guess. Have you heard of the Red Morning Massacre? A dreadful morning remembered with fear even by those not yet born at the time. A demoness named Inago invaded the city with a crowd of her followers and started to do what demons do best. Kill and desecrate. They say they covered the word stone with pieces of dead bodies splashed with blood from top to bottom. Could such an abomination darken the radiance of the gift of Ayamade herself? Locusts think this is impossible, but who knows. Who are you and why did they let you examine the word stone? I am the storyteller, just an old elf, and a bit more. I am old even for an elf. I've seen many things, I've been to many places. Not so long ago I witnessed the making of a young kingdom in the Stolen Lands, which is actually the first game. Led by a remarkable and promising individual, my advice on the complicated matter of conquering those lands proved useful to that leader. Yeah, he was in the original game. It is not uncommon for me. Some seek my advice or services, and I don't refuse. This is how I acquired my reputation as an old vagrant who never hurt anyone. Say I have other squabbles, but sometimes gave good advice. I have a few friends in New York and who vouch for my integrity. This is why my humble requests to be allowed to see the war storms granted. I visited all of them, but only found cause for alarm in Canabras. Do you want some special magic power or instinct? Yes, to a certain extent. But it's more of a gift. I can see the past, stories that have happened. I touch an object, and shreds of its owner's memories are revealed in my mind. Their emotions, passions, and tragedies. I see visions like I am, th like I am them, and their and their stories happen to me. This is my power. I've been roaming the ward, gathering such stories for many thousands of years. One day, I will gather them all. Thank you, sir. In that case, you must make every possible effort to destroy the corruption. Unfortunately, I don't know. Where to get instrument powerful enough to banish it from the ward. So as far as I know, there's nothing like it in Canabras. But the demons might have something. I have heard the dying roar to none to live. The protector of the city at the same time, I feel a wave of unfamiliar power sweep over me from head to toe. 
I advise you to go to our channel and do the players and search there for something. I'm sorry I can't be more specific, but intuition and a strange sense of righteousness points me there. I found this in the square where Chalinda left players. What do you make of it? As I give him this darn knife. He reaches out and says softly, Even from here I can feel strange em energies emanating from this object. If you don't mind, I will examine it, using my method. I will try to see the past of its owners, their emotions and shreds of their memories. It will help us better understand what we are dealing with. The storyteller touches the knife, his fingers clamp around the hilt with a hungry, masterful grip. His face contorts into an evil grimace, his voice disgustingly raspy. Hunger, my many legs, brings me into the lair, to my mother's feasting hall. Her swollen body, overfilled with food, is so huge that I have to look at it with all of my eyes at once. On top of, on top of her little scrawny head with a long beak that is always yearning for more food. You feel feverish in your chest where the mysterious wound is concealed feels hot. Her mind is flooded with a wave of visions, visions that repeat the words of the old elf. Mother greets me with a placid screech. Stupid, greedy wretch, whose only achievement is my birth. A creeping, wingless creature, it's your fault I have no wings. A symbol of greatness, a birthright I should have received from my mighty father. Mother points me to a crowd of whimpering subjects, suggesting I fortify myself with their pathetic flesh. Not today, I summon my spawn, they fly to me, enveloping me in a teeming cloud. Like dark buzzing wings, they unfold from behind my back and lift me up. Mother has always been stronger, but she did not expect this. I dive on her and rip her limb, bloated body with my claws. Icarus splatters, the bone spurs on my heels, sink into her flesh. I clench her pitiful tiny head and tear it off along with the shreds of meat. Victory, I am the strongest. I am the son of my winged father. The elf grimaces with distaste, his voice becoming normal again. Appalling stories like that are the most difficult ones to keep with me. Does this knife belong to a demon? The storyteller opens his mouth, but a sudden spasm crosses his face. A new vision, a much stronger one, engulfs the old elf. The malevolent undertones vanish from his voice as it grows more determined and tired. Even looking at the wardstone is difficult despite the corruption nesting in it. It sells an aura of strength. Your fingers clench the stone hilt so tight it hurts. A little spot on the flawless surface of the wardstone draws your attention. It looks like a butterfly. Corruption in the guise of something utterly harmless, but it will grow. You swing and stab the butterfly with the knife as hard as you can. Your fingers cramp painfully. A howl invades your ears, light, white light everywhere. The snow knight falls from the old elf's hands. Out of breath, he drops to his knees. He is trembling, the terror on his face so unlike his usual dignified manner. But, what was that? That was not the past. That was something that has yet to happen, or rather, might happen. One of the roads to the future, and one of the possible futures. This item will help you cleanse the word stone, or to destroy it. You feel a longing take the night, ch night chisel plugs into your chest right into the wind that's opened up in it. It's hard to resist this feeling, but at the last moment your self-preservation instinct takes over. You manage to keep control of your own hands. The old man stands up. He looks completely stunned. Never before has anything like this happened to me. But how? I am not an oracle or a prophet, or is this another room from the past that's caught up with me? I must find out. Seeing stories that have happened is one thing, but seeing stories that are yet to happen. I don't know why this is happening now, but there's one thing I'm sure of. This is not a coincidence. This is a sign of coming change. Great changes. Share your vision. This knife tempted me. Do you see what I saw? This has never happened before. Could it be the magic of the object that you brought me? I sense dark energies in it that can cloud and charm the mind. Be careful with this item. It may have tried influencing you, but you managed to overcome its power and subdue it. Or perhaps something else has happened to us that we do not yet understand. Powers are amazing. A few minutes ago, I would have agreed with you, but the thing that's just happened disturbs me. My gift has never manifested like that. Something has changed, and these changes frighten me. Please damn the items I got. He takes the Neo Sword Radiance. Far forces lie dormant in the sword. He used to belong to an incredibly bright and daring soul. Proud to end to live. Protector of Canabras, your devoted life to serving your people, your death is a great loss. Maybe I will find out something about you that is unknown to many of your admirers. As he touches the scales. What does he say with Radiance? Dresden is doomed. Demon is attacked right when we lost the protection of the Sword of Valor, which is what uh, was taken. My city, my bastion of hope, we built you as a symbol that the lands mutilated by the abyss could still be restored by mortals. 
Now you are perishing and there's nothing I can do. We retreat. No, we flee. A frightened crowd rushes out into the night through the southern gate. They're chased by the angry howls of demons covering... Demons killing the last defenders of the citadel. My heart goes out to them, but I'm standing still in the wall. I'm covering the retreat. Demons do not attack. They see the round. You fall from the sky. Strike from this all sides at once. They can't be stopped, but they can be distracted. I run to the upper floor of the gate tower. Radiance glows with the golden light in my hand. I permit myself to close my eyes for just one heartbeat. I imagine that the soft glimmering of the sword I see through my closed eyelids is the light of the summer sun. I smile, I open my eyes and call it, Hey, Discari Spawn! Who wants the best trophy of the night? You know my name, Yanil. You know how many of you I have killed with this very hand. You want to curry favor with Drazand, Minago, or the Echo of your Lord? Bring them my head, if you can. Roaring and screaming, they rush towards me in a wave of deformed bodies and unfurled wings. The wave crashes against me, splattering my army with bloody froth. Broken wings and chopped up bodies plummet to the floor foot of the tower. In the heat of the battle, I see Joran's pale face down there. He looks at me in desperation, but he can't help. He's carrying two wounded on his shoulder. My city will fall, but my friends will survive. This is what I'm fighting for, to cover the retreat. The flow of fiend people gradually dwindles. My armor is broken in many places, and I cannot heal my wounds anymore. Last demon I stab with Radiant suddenly recoils, tearing the handle out of my blood sickened hand. He flies up at fall summer far beyond the walls, with the road being taken by those fleeing. No more golden glow in my hand. The night closes in on me, filled with shrieking, mocking demon laughter. Dresden, I'm dying with you. Sword of the light, righteous I am a day, accept my soul. I know whose memory this is. I've heard about her so many times. Yanil was a true crusader. Touching her memory is so cleansing. Do you see the future of the sword? Just one of numerous possibilities. I sighed out of the sheath swiftly. I'm proud. I proudly watched the army warriors led by my lord. I sing slashing the air, putting courage in their hearts. I am Radiance. Tremble, city of Dresden. My, my lady Yanil has perished, but I am not done yet. Charge! As I know that the sword's glorious days are not over. It has many battles ahead. Take care of it in this glorious souls. We'll come back and talk to him. I have to rest my voice a little bit. Uh, we'll be back. Alright. Go stealth stuff. Yep, and now we can see the people that we've recruited. All the people that we've helped will show up here. Follow me. Show me your wares, sir. I need to sell stuff. Yeah, we're holding on to the Midnight Bull just in case. Let's see if we can get any stuff, shall we? Let's see. 
So now we got gold. Eli got a helmet for you. Give us some DR. All right, let's head on out. Ah, shoot, I have to go back. Mm, I need him in my party. enjoying the game so far. Alright. So we'll switch you out. Because we'll need him for this. I don't think there's really any fights though, so we should be okay. Because we have to head up to the Thieflings. guys. Let's level him up real quick. Mason is dark and dank, and you are immediately struck by the hostility of the gathered tieflings. Five of them are kneeling along the wall, separate from their west. The tall woman, who had been cleaning her fingernails with the tip of her knife, greets you with narrowed eyes. Brother Wiljif, you got my message then. Sorry, I couldn't swing by sooner, dear sister cares me. There's just one thing after another. First, I was in shackles. Next, well, no, I was still in shackles. And I was being watched, and then the chief got me out, and I came straight away. And you'd been waiting on me. Enough talk. Excuse me, wow. Enough talking or we'll be here all night. So, we had a clear plan. We were going to wait for nightfall, slip into the shop, grab the goods, and leave. Even the neighbors called the guard, there was time to get away. But what happened? That bitch Irabeth showed up almost right away. She knew we'd be there. Somebody betrayed us, and I have a good idea who it was. What do you have to say to that? Make it quick. Do you think he knows the name of the traitor? He speaks. I thought Wiljif only brought you so he had someone to hide behind if things went south. Yes, he knows the name of the traitor. Every gang that Wiljif has been a part of has very quickly come to an end. Their, hide their hideout location was past the guards or their competitors find out where they could ambush them. Wiljif is the only one who has always come out smelling of roses. If you think about it, you'll come to the same conclusion as us. I'd have said that meant that Woodruff was cursed with finding fiends among losers and screw-ups, but now that he's with us, that must mean the curse has been broken. That depends. He was indeed most fortunate to find himself in a party with me. On the other hand, he also had been in a party with you. He hasn't had to prove anything to you. In a single fluid motion, she adjusts the grip on her knife, so she's now holding it by the blade as if preparing to throw it. Burden? Of proof? Are you city guard or something? I don't know how is it with your lot, but in the family, the highest rank is always right. In here, that's me. It's burning and you're squabbling instead of fleeing the city. I'd be glad to leave like the rest of my brothers and sisters, but in the family, there's nothing worse than betrayal. And it's something we do not forgive. We don't forgive anyone who let traitors off the hook either. If I don't find the rat, my superiors, let's just say I wish I was burning Canabras. I want to keep living, so I'm going to take a chance until I find out who the traitor is here. No one is leaving. Well, Jeff, what's your side? 
What's there to tell? About a week ago, Sister Kazumari got six of us together in this very basement. Me and the five over there, I mean. He nods to the five kneeling on the wall. She rounds it up and says we got a score. Ancient trees and wonder is the one place no one's ever been able to hit. The place has been guarded by a golem, but now a powerful skull that would knock out the golem just happened to come into our possession, along with a tip off that the shopper would be gone on a particular night. All six of us know a bit of magic, and we know that any enchant junk will sell for a pretty penny, so we're in. And the most important thing that was none of us was to be hanging out about the shop ahead of the job. No casing out the place, no calling attention to ourselves from either the golem or its masters. This job was top secret. That's all true so far. Go on. We did everything right with the locks in the golem. I picked the lock I remember clear as day. Sister Donna was on the lookout. Brother Morin had the scroll. Daffy, Tavi, and Varner brought the sacks. We covered the winter and lit the torches. I remember scooping up rings and tossing them in a sack. One right expensive one rolled right away from me. I crawled into the table after and the next thing I knew, Erebeth was there. Everybody scampered out still into the table. Not my finest moment. I was going to wait out, but those blockheads were dragging me out by the tail and put me in shackles. They took all my rings off me, uh, 20,000 worth, and yeah, insulted to injury. I never even found the last one. In the end, I got busted over nothing. So they caught you, poor thing. Stripped you of your loot, and you didn't even manage to stash anything? Where's the moon in the abyss, brother Wolgif? What is the moon of the abyss? It was an amulet that used to sit on a little cushion in the windows of entries and wonders. Sterling silver sparkled like a si star, fine piece of work. On one side there was a half moon, you know, a crescent, a waning moon, and in the middle there was a dark crystal like it was eclipsing the moon. Old man Fellerman was so proud of that amulet, and he used to say I'll never sell it. It's a jewel in my collection. I used to go there to see what kind of treasures there were in the world. There's nothing else to look at in Canabras. People used to claim it was a powerful thing, but who's to say? If you ever stole a thing like that, you have the guards on you, and the second you try to fence it. Everyone knew that you were always hanging around in ancient trees and wonder drilling over the moon of the abyss. You think you could swipe it all in the commotion and keep it for yourself? Did you hope that we all be locked up and you get away scot free with that fancy trinket to boost? Don't take me for a mug, Wolf. I see right through you. Go on, Wolf. That's the whole story. Some family this turned out to be. It's just name in the end, and a real family you take care of, take each other by their word. They don't throw around accusations. I ain't take the moon of the abyss. What am I gonna do with it? You can't sell it to no crusaders. It's a special item. Can't wear it. It'll get nicked. It's pretty to look at, sure, but I ain't that pretty. But ain't that pretty. If it's that important to your sister cares me, I'll find it, and I'll drive the traitor here by his horns, just so you don't end up at the bottom of the sullen. But you know that you're going to owe me for that, and apology. Right here in front of everyone, you're going to apologize loud and clear so everyone hears it. You'll say, sorry, Wolf, if you're a good guy and I was wrong about you. Fine, you're one of my people, which is why I'm going to give you some time, but if you run, Brother Wolf, the family will get you wherever you go. You'll spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder, tossing and turning at night, fearing poison in every cup and every meal. You'll look into the eyes of very tiefling men, wondering if the family's come for you. You'll have no peace, but one day you'll be tired of it, and you'll stop to catch your breath. That is what will get you. Got that? You have a way with words, Sister Karasmini. A way that's almost made me wet myself. But a way nonetheless. Let's go cheat. Let's go chat with that scary girl at your best. She knows you a little. We can ask her who rides us out. I'll let you do the talking. Alright, we'll find the real traitor. And I'll get my apology. Onward to your best, Chief. Let's go clear my good name. Real traitor will be quick about it. Time's running out. I won't get you up by demons. Alright, let's go, everyone. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, yes, Darren. They don't like each other. 
He has a certain reputation in Mendev. He's not a pleasant individual by any means, but he's not known for any particular villainy either. He enjoys a life of leisure surrounded by a gaggle of sycophants who are always eager to badmouth the queen at his command. He likes settling scores too. There was a hero of the First Crusade, Sir Lion, a kind and honest man. After the end of his glorious career as a soldier, he became a wise mentor to the younger generation. He ran afoul of the Count somehow, perhaps by lecturing about his idle lifestyle and a lack of purpose. When Sir Lant died, the Count managed to buy a portion of his estate and ordered the Knight's Helmet to be reforged into a chamber pot. And of course, he didn't keep his little joke private. The Queen was particularly affronted by it because Sir Lant used to be her most loyal comrade in arms. I was there receiving an assignment from Her Majesty and witnessed the exact moment she found out about the Helmet's faith. It's a small thing, but I could see the Queen's anguish at the travesty that had been of her friend's legacy. As for the, your, our Count is like as a person. As for his talent for survival, do you know the story of the Heaven's Edge? He was the only member of his family to escape with his life when demons unleashed a magical plague at the Aranande estate. <clears throat> Thank you for telling me all this. Alright, we found out John Laudori. That's our strategy. All the people we've recruited so far. Tell you everything I knew. I did not see my informant's face. He slipped out of a dark alley, handed me a note, and disappeared. He had long horns. And let's go. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's go find some information. <clears throat> yes, we do. All right. Oh, yes, this is where we get to meet him. Uh huh. Phew! Free at last! I thought I'd be flying like a pancake under the rubble. Much obliged, dammit. I'm not in any pain, but my head is still foggy for some reason. What's all the hubbub? Name's Finian. I'm a Pathfinder. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. How did you end up in the shop? Yeah, I've been here for so long I don't even remember anymore. Just sitting and waiting for any word from the Pathfinders, but it looks like everyone's forgotten about me. The shop owner is an old friend of the Pathfinders, so I've taken up residence here. You're a Pathfinder? That's right, Finny and Dismar, a Pathfinder and Crusader. I roam around the world, world wound wherever my tasks lead me, scouting mostly, but this is the last while I've been hanging around in Cadaveris, waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored out of my mind, but at least this shop makes for better lodging than some in. What I meant was, what are you? What's that supposed to mean? I just told you. You want to know where I hail from? Is that it? Well, I'm from around here, actually. We Kellids of the Star Eye Clan fled when the whirlwind troubles began, but I couldn't stand by while the demons wreak havoc, so I came back. Oh, did you mean by ask about my weapon of choice? My best weapon is every weapon. I'm a skilled and capable fellow, if I do say so myself. I can swing a sword and poke with a spear, but what I'm best at is communing with the spirits. Excuse me. They call folks like me Phantom Blades. Yeah, but what's that? It's like a spiritualist, but with a twist. It means that some spirit took a liking to me at some point and can turn into whatever weapon I need. Handy, eh? I don't need any whetstones or enchantments. It doesn't take up space either. Although, to be fair, it's not a barrel of laughs. The spirits that sow this kind of power don't come from happy places. And they're not exactly bright eyed and bushy tailed. They usually appear after great battles that leave few survivors. See, he's attacked by demons. Wait, what? Last thing I saw was some thieves ring in here. Then the guards came, everyone was running around. After that, it was a bit of a blur. Right when things got intense, they dropped the cabinet on me. I couldn't even help the owner. I was just lying under the shelves like a dim until a dim lit like you came along. There are demons coming out, so we must do something about it. 
The seed needs every blade it can get. Hey, do you mind taking me out with you? I don't think I can handle this alone. Besides, the more the merrier. All right, you can come with me. I swear you won't forget. I can do all sorts of things. If there's anything your party's missing, a sword, a spear, a bow, just say the word. Meet. Member of our party. Um. I remember how to use him. Ah, Fidian. I want you to become a Yeah, we can me. Uh, some, no, not some return right here. Stream Raider scan. We got 47 units, everyone. Start the battle. I've been trying to. We're doing Stream Raiders right now. It just started. And I had a kitty on my lap. Victory! Looks like no crowns to give out. So... We got a boss, you guys. Uh, use the orc slayer. On the right, uh, one of the gold. Further. Further. There you go, the crocodile. Nom nom. So, how's he been, everyone? Everyone's been quiet. I mean, there's Toshime there. Oh, everyone's been quiet. No one's really talked in the chat. Uh, Pathfinder is a group of explorers in the world. That's where the game gets its name from. Place your troops, everyone. We'll get back to the game. <clears throat> All right, 
let's see. Looks like you got a magic item. Oh, this is uh, Finian, the uh, magic sword. Oh. He can turn into whatever weapon we want him to. He's right now a uh, plus one cold iron ghost touch finesse uh, rapier. That's him. Neat. Talk to him. I already did talk to him. Then nothing new's gonna come up. But I didn't get to see it. <sighs> oh, he doesn't have. No, not yet. Sometimes he does. Hello. Nice, nice. They go in the fridge, and they're already in there. Demonic heart. Let us be on. So right now we're trying to get clear uh, Wolgif's uh, name. Hello. We can summon a pipe fox. Tieflings around the world, starting with me. We have a little uh, snake fox. Snake fox? Yeah, we have a snake fox. Snake? Right there. Oh my god! He's a little pipe fox. See, this is Chim. When I get. I love snakes. They're not. <laughs> We're uh telling you this is just people who came into the shop last week. I'm glad you're doing the same thing I normally do. What? When they get into this, I just keep going. Ignore the sounds of death in the background. It's not death, it's torture. If it was death I wouldn't be screaming. Uh, rest in peace, Orum. You'll be sorely missed. Wait, who wrote that? Oh. Oh, no. It, it was Zim. I forgot. The viewers don't... They don't care about me. Do, 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 do. Back to action. Uh, Ready the suspicious, suspicious people, tieflings. Tieflings, three. Tieflings, male, middle aged. Tiefling, male, young. Tiefling, female. Uh, middle aged, tiefling. Tiefling, male, medium height, long horns, medium length tail, eye color, pale blue, skin color, dark. Special observations, red hair. Oh, that's our trader. I bet you'd life on it. Because Mari drilled into our heads that we weren't to go hanging about the shop. Hmm. Right here. We got a couple of gingers and plenty more uh, who get it out of a bottle. So much for a special observation. Golems ain't that character to be a uh, young male. That's him. There. See? Can't be me. Above average height. Long tail not observed. Long horns. Social observation, scar, nose, ball jerk, or gold stitching. I don't know, most likely gold stitching. I wouldn't mind getting to know her a bit better. Uh, where's your master? Philemon first service, my master is in his hiding place. Revealing the location of the hiding place is prohibited, prohibited, prohibited. He's like a whole himself in the basement where the commotion started. The entrance should be around here somewhere. Where's the basement of this place? The basement is below me. I guard the basement. Leaving my post is prohibited. Alright. So, we need to move him. Lan, we need you! Uh, forget it. The mongrel did it. Well, let's gather your party. Adventuring board. 
I got him. Oh, Dragon Cobalt, you're still here. Yes, just no one's really talked. I am helpful. Yay, we got stuffs. Wine. The other gnome so poorly, portly to be as nearly spherical is curled up in the corner of the basement, shaking marauders, bandits, scavengers. And a very good day to you as well, my dear shopkeep. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. We were all those things and much more. Before you report us to the authorities, why if we have a chat? Please calm down. No one's going to rob you. No one appears at you. Hmm. You do look better dressed than the local thieves and ragamuffins. You came here to tell me that the nightmare's over? No, it's not. You're here to steal my riches. Get back! The gnome notices Wolgif and his round face turns scarlet. You, Wolgif, the dirty little sneak thief. You've been sniffing around my shop for years. Finally worked out the courage to rob me, did you? Get out of here. You and your pals have taken everything, I'm sure. My name is Philemon Furlietros. I was the owner of this shop. I'm not sure I can claim to be the owner of anything now. I was at least something left of it. Oh, come on. Your shop's fine. It's a little bit ransacked, maybe. But nothing a bit of spin polish can't fix. Tell me the tea things that have been visited. Why should I tell you anything about my customers? You're not from the city guard that you go watch. Eh, uh, chief, if he keeps digging his heels in, just say the word. I know a way to loosen his tongue. Bluff 16. Thank you, friend. So they haven't got the tieflings? Let's see his finest was on the job and they'd... You can't rely on anyone. Ask your questions that it's so important. Tell me about the red-haired tiefling. Red-haired tiefling, yeah, I suppose yes. That was the one who came in and spent a long time looking around. His person modest means I could tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Asamari made chainmail. He certainly couldn't afford it. That's when I suspect that something was off. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing, and that put my mind at ease. I can't remember what he looked like. I didn't get a good look at his face. All I remember is that he was wrapped in a green cloak like he was freezing. That's all I have. That's it. That's the description. We'll surely sniff him out. Come on, Chief. Back to Sister Kazamari we go. Red-haired tiefling in a green cloak. Oh, we have to do all three. Alright, got everything we know. Let's go! Let's move! To the Tiefling hideout. Yes, we want to enter this location. I definitely like the music on this. Mm hmm. And all the mechanics. I, I love the idea of all these mechanics. Alright, let's take a good look at the suspects. Only reds are Melrun and Doffy. Only Varun. Alright, so it's Melrun. That's our one. Alright. Just want to save beforehand. It should be Melrun. Because he's the only one who has a green cloak and has long horns. You'll pay for this. Voltiel and Habzamara will get you in the end. Grab him. Take him away for questioning. Kismara looks weary, but her earlier attention is lifted. He confessed someone connected the cult of Baphomet ordered him to seal the moon of the abyss, and the best <clears throat> idea he could come up with was drag us into it. 
He got the scroll to take out the golem. He betrayed us to Erebus so that he could swipe the amulet in the chaos. He thought we'd get nicked and he'd sneak off to meet up with the customer. You got the moon of the abyss? Let me look at it one more time. My whole life I've dreamt of falling in my hands, if only for a second. He said when he got to the window display, the moon was gone. He's lying, of course. He had time to take the moon off the person who ordered it. Bloody cultists, and I really don't give him a toss. I'm just glad we got to the bottom of this. What are you going to do now? Clear out this place. Soon as the bad the sea is dying, I don't want to die with it. The city would have already died if not for the people who stood up to defend it with the weapons in their hands. So defend it. I'm not stopping you. It's your city. We've always been outsiders here. Why should we fight for you? Where are you going to do the traitor? Picks her nails with her knife with the knife tip. He'll be sent to visit his distant relatives on their farm to think about what he did. Any more questions? No, we're not going to join the family. We're good boys. Oh. We're good boys. Are we? Yes. Do we have to be? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Good decision. I don't plan to hang around any long either. You forgot something. What's now? You should be happy to be alive. An apology. You promised an apology to me loudly in front of everyone. We're alone now, but I still want to hear it. Well, diplomacy. We have a plus 60 on this. Ah, oh, that. So, sorry, I suppose we're being wrong about you this time. Don't think that just because you didn't act like you drink this one time that cancels out the rest of your record. I know all about you. Till next time, will Jeff? That was the most pathetic apology I've ever heard. All right, fine. I'm sorry, Wolf. Let's part on good terms. And now apologize to me as well. When you falsely accuse my ally, you accuse me too. Ah, we rolled less than a five. Better than nothing. Listen, Chief. When you got a spare minute, come see me. I have something I want to discuss with you. But for now, let's get out of here. I don't like seeing low ground when the building is above us, ready to crash down on our heads. But we can open this gate up. What's the gate? What's that oh, name? Treasure. Mm hmm. What do we have here? I am helpful, am I not? There's a real secret right here. That's where the real loot is. So now we head off to here. The Tower of Astrode. Evade the enemies. Don't want to kill them. Nah. Uh, because I'm about to actually go into a big fight, I want to save everything I can. Isn't that boring after all? These poor cinnamon rolls. Yeah, I'm not sure you needed to save anything. All right, I have a better bow. I need to equip my better gear on my stuff.
Amulet of natural armor. Increase my ACs and my peoples. Her's not satisfied in any tabletop game until he gets his AC to about 30 or more. Please, I can get to like 40 no problem in this game. Like I said, or more. Snakey snake. Can I whisper and see that you never have fallen? Fate shows no mercy. Clouds may veil the stars when they can hide the light in someone's soul. I see the light in you. If you aren't good, bad things happen here. Ah, good to know. But don't do you have somebody that's evil in your party? And they look specifically at you. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with you against evil. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame. My brother, we will help you. So yeah, we got a blessing. That one's new. That wasn't there before. It looks like it's broken. <laughs> Whoever you are, keep quiet. There's a horde of enemies just beyond this. Might be. Before, they would just cast Bless on us. March on. Be quiet and watch. This is the best part. Yeah, we're gonna be killing these assholes. No more looting. We're all here. Sit here and wait for the order to attack the defender's heart. It's the last bastion of the Crusaders' resistance. We'll flatten them and claim our victory. Into the abyss with all crusaders and the defender's heart, Kyle. The city is ours already. Now it's time to enjoy the spoil. Split up into groups quickly. I'll tell you where to go and what to bring back. Fax and you idiot. Go back to Baphomet. He must be missing his lap dog. Everyone here will be following my orders. I'm in charge. We don't submit to you, you dirty desk, right? Keep out of this, Kyle. Let's rock curse all of your extremities to wither and drop off. Everyone listen to me. What we're going to do is... Looking for a fight, Faxon? Well, you've got one. <laughs> Had enough for him? I'm in charge here. Callus is the strongest. No looting, only slaughter. We're going to sit here and wait for the command to attack. The defender's heart will fall. I'd stay away from there right now. The tower is the main stronghold of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth and their allies. Going up against that many of them would be suicide. I have a better idea. If the demons and their mortal agents were better organized, the Crusaders would have been crushed long before now. But they're always trying to spread in every direction. Right now, in every corner of the city, there are demons like Kylas who are trying to consolidate their forces to launch a joint attack on the Defender's heart. 
Graybor. I'm a contract killer who's been hired to kill that demon that just walloped that other one. I've tracked him all the way here, and was planning to kill him when that crowd showed up, so I had to pull back. Don't even think about trying to take them all on single-handed. You'll be mincemeat. Better to warn the Crusaders in the Defender's heart that the demons are planning to attack. And later, once the attackers have been taken care of, it'll be much easier to sweep through this tower and eliminate the Defenders left behind. Like when dueling with rapiers. One doesn't lunge, but waits for the opponent to strike and leave themselves open. Yeah, exactly like that. Or like in cards, wait for your opponent to play his hand, and then dive under the table, grab the pot, and run. I'm afraid that's confidential. As a professional, I'm obliged to keep my client's name a secret. We could attack them together? I have no desire to die today. If you choose to go in there, I'll take advantage of the opportunity, of course. I'll kill Kylas and get back here as quickly as I can. I'm not going to fight any of the others. I don't work for free. The city is burning. People are dying. And you're thinking about how to fill your pockets? Yes. So what? Listen here, girl. If you're so eager to save someone, go and do it. And don't waste your breath preaching at me. I hope you act wisely. Alright, let's set up this again. Gonna take him on? Yep, I always do. Thank you. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. All the AOE. Make your saves. Well, next turn. Go, doggo! Yeah, that's right, he has fireball. Still standing. 
Yeah, but one, two, three, four. And the guy who can cast fucking fireball, the level seven. Distract them for me. Forwards. The inheritor, guide my blade. Alright, I'm just really focused right now on trying to clear these guys. This. Trying to make sure <laughs> Did they you die. Alright, let's sneak attack you. Hop goes the weasel. We won't falter. Why would you do that to a weasel? Why not? Why would you do that to my cousin? Cause they deserve it. Into the fray. Totally deserve it. Go for their hearts. Ah, uh, he stood up. Yeah. Come, doggo coons. right after this battle. Right now I just need to kill these guys. Thank you. guy now buff her weapon real quick I'll cut you wide this guy. Open. or not dodge 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 Go, doggo coons! Is your time. Nom noms. Shit, he got back up. Yeah, he attacked the doggos. You've crossed the wrong. Kill him. 
He has to make another save to stay up, but I think we're going to dismiss this now. We can do it. Yep. No glory without risk. The spirits demand your blood. I will see to your demise. Go doggos. Do your part. Do your part, doggos. So that's where the summoning comes in really handy of getting us um, basically extra meat shields. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Heal me. Alright, we're good. But yeah, no, that was a we fought a level seven witch and like six level four creatures. Level five, Iridox. And we're only level four. We killed them all. Precision and grace. So woo, we did it. And now we steal their stuff. Full plate armor or half plate armor. Heavy mace. Give me those scrolls. I'll take free equipment. Now we head on down to the basement. Sorry about going quiet there. I was getting really focused. I've done that fight a couple of times. This is what one of the reasons why in this game and the other game, Grease is like a save or die spell. Because we took out like five people plus their most powerful caster with a single spell. And now that they've added a way to get rid of the spell without having to wait for it to expire, makes it way easier to use. Stream Raiders. Oh yes, Stream Raiders. That's right. Thank you. Start the battle. This may be the last battle for tonight. The next one or this? This one. So you want to start up another? Probably not, because we're almost to a good, really good ending point. Okay. Once I clear this tower. Because after this, we only have one other side quest plus the final battle. Okay. So this is a good spot to start. We won! What's inside? Alright, doesn't look like we got any uh, crowns to give out. And we just pick random for these ones? Uh, the gold, pick a winner. Make sure that goes to actual viewers. Uh, give that to Toshime, because Dragon Cobalt got it earlier. Okay. Uh,. And then give the uh, Centurion to Dragon Cobalt. I don't recognize any of those other names, so just uh, grab that. <clears throat> Alright, so that'll be the last adventure for today. And let's get back into the game and finish this area off. Don't forget to put the game back up. Yep.
here. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? I've been streaming for like six hours. There you go. Yeah, I do it uh, seven hours a day. Should be someone Let us here. Be off. There he is. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Praise Baphomet. What are you doing here? Did Faxon send you? I heard a noise outside, but I was busy making a list of the relics. Did something happen? Who are you? I'm Telma, the scribe and senior aide to Lord Xanthor, the plagued one. And do forgive me, but Faxon has assigned me to the kid's command, is he not? Where is he? What are you doing here? I'm compiling a list of the most valuable crusader artifacts. Lord Xanthor has, has ordered that everything to use should be transferred from Canabras and saved from looting and destruction. We chose the museum as a place to collect and sort through the trophies. Unfortunately, the local thieves were ruined even quicker than the mark than the demons. They ransacked the museum in the first few hours of the assault. There are some objects of interest among the exhibits that's left behind. The museum custodian has been kind enough to advise me on those. But where's Faxon? <laughs> Fine, it seems in Mendev. Turn your back and everything that isn't nailed down to the floor will be gone before you turn around again. The demons had no chance against them. Massive of our trade we are. There you go, Brian again, dummy. Thing has never led anything but harm, trust me. If you fought that way the fought that way, you thieve, you might as well you might actually be useful. No thanks, every person has a calling, this is mine. But imagine if you fought as well as you thieve. Where is the museum custodian? Over in the gallery, I deceived him. I told him I was a crusader. It wasn't difficult. The old geezer's out of his mind. So tell me, where is Vaxen? Hands off of crusader relics. No, I have valuable letters from Lord Xanthor here. I must destroy them. A moment later, he starts dying because cursed paper. Want some salt or pepper with that? Now, I've never tried to eat paper myself, but a little seasoning goes a long way, whatever the meal. Confuturate. The perfect accompaniment for paper is apricot friture. How do I know this? Excellent question. As a child, I once ate a piece of my exercise book in front of my horrid music teacher, despite her. Help. <laughs> Yeah, Darian's great. I love Darian. I don't care if this page is contained in most secrets about him and himself. I am not touching that. <laughs> the cultist coughs violently and then after taking a trembling, but leaves up and takes off running. He disappears, leaving you with a wad of correspondence that is much worse to wear. And now we loot everything that isn't nailed down. Let's move. I'm pretty sure that table is not nailed down. <laughs> Back. The kitty in not your lap time. demands attention. I have been giving her attention. She came not over here a few time. times before. I hope you appreciate this. Ooh. Yes. Plus two mithril chain shirt. Yes, please. Appreciate this. I am helpful, am I not? Grab everything that is ooh, cookery.
I have a kitty that wants attention. I am helpful. Ooh, am I a bow. Yes, please. Give me that bow. Can I use cookies? Yes, I can. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I even get stronger against undead. That's cool. That'll be handy later. Yoink. It's so fierce with it being put in there. Right? Huh. The masterwork bow is stronger than the magic bow. What are you talking about? The, ma the masterwork bow? Master composite bow is stronger than the magic bow. But the damage is uh, quite a bit more. Uh, that's fair. Yep. I missed it by one. Just ignore the guy walking around. He's crazy. Stealing everything. I told you everything that's not nailed, nailed down. But I don't think that those chests and tables and bookcases are actually nailed down. Eh, they aren't worth it. But the wooden plate is? Yep. Which are you? Robber or demon? Hey, take it easy, Graham. See? So that's the way it is, huh? You see horns and you think thief or demon? Good scaring the old man, dummy. Have you seen your horns? They. How should I put this? No exactly inspire trust in a city that's currently overrun demons. Hey, there are horns, and then there are horns. I'm not gonna hurt ya. Go to the defense are There are good people there that'll look after you. Uh... Tell me about the museum. It would take a lifetime to tell you all that there is to know but I'll take you on a tour of the highlights, some of my personal favorites. You should have a look yourself and you won't regret it. For instance, we have a painting here depicting angels fighting demons. They may find it hard to believe, but in the First Crusades, many heavenly beings fought shoulder to shoulder with the Crusaders. These two are the paintings of Tarango and Laria, the Silver Twins, as they were called. I actually met them, you know, when I was a young man sitting under Master Zacharias. They had no airs or graces about them. They walked among the moors. They spoke to us. They healed our wounds. They ate Targona. I, I remember especially well. She had a special unearthly wisdom to her. Angel L'Oreal, on the other hand, was known for his daring, and the youngest crusaders idolized him. I wonder where they are now, the twins. We don't have any celestial beings in our ranks anymore. They all left sometime during the Second Crusade, on a very important mission, they say. But I do love me looking at this painting and remembering those days when envoys of heaven walked among us, and the light that seemed to shine from within them. What was I saying? You must be a visitor, yes? Or are you a visitor? You okay? You said the angels Targona and Lariel are twins, but how can angels have siblings? That's a good question. Of course, angels are not born like mortals, so they can't have a mother or a father or sisters or brothers, so we understand them. Angels come into being from reincarnated souls or from the pure essence of the upper planes. Sometimes angels may adopt some features of mortals, for instance, they can identify as male or female. Although that is not generally their way, some of them may develop bonds or camaraderie or even kinship. In the case of the two of silver twins, it's rarer still. They are two angels who emerge from one soul. What else should they call themselves if not twins? Alright. Bye, crazy man. Follow me. You just stay here. We shall burst down the doors. Oh, we can't burst down the doors. We will go up. We have smitted the evil.
You brought us back to waking. Greetings. Who are you? Not who, what memories. This place was created as a cradle of fantasy and memory. The things that belong to the seas, heroes were kept here. People used to come to this place to remember those heroes. And myself and the others are living memories. You woke us, so here we are. I used to come here when the mood took me. The exhibits here are meager, no doubt, and cannot compete with the museums in the capital. But all the same, I find this place to be a calming refuge away from the bustling city. But all these exhibits leave me cold. Dusty glass cases spoke for a history, but I probably would have given them more of a chance I know I could meet people from our circle here. Oh no, my dear Camellia. People like you and I come to these places only very rarely. This museum is my refuge away from the society of such people, and it's an excellent spot for a nap. So your memories of who? The gone illusion. No, we don't want to fight them. That's only what happens if you're evil. Then you have to fight them. Oh. Of the heroes, the city you wish to immortalize, go touch a memory and see how they remembered us. After all, this place was created so that our names would never disappear into the mists of history. There used to be a place like this near near home. Quiet, calm. I used to walk along the pedestals, wondering, people who found the place, who, what was driving them, were they thinking about future generations? Have passed down their wisdom and show the right path? Or are they thinking of themselves, trying to keep their names and deeds alive? And then the ceiling collapsed and the place didn't exist anymore. So my question was moot. I was going to say that we have not dishonored your memory, but Canaveras lies in ruins and we, we, but you fiercely bow the invaders with no thought of yourself. You have earned no censure. We are proud of you. Right. In the olden days, mortal kind lost the demons time after time after time. Now their descendants are continuing their losing streak. How can you be proud of that? Why'd you help me? A soft smile appears on the woman's face. I sense something in you, as if you're close to me somehow, like we stood shoulder to shoulder once in the face of evil, and then we must do so again. I sense that light dwells within you. Very recently, you were threatened by a powerful demon, dark bloodless tried to enslave your soul, but you opposed it and held fast. Continue to follow the light, the path of light, and the other righteous souls will aid you and follow you. During the encounter with Hosil and the demon several Malek, you resisted the blood rage and awakened the light of heaven inside of you instead of falling to the demon. Bye bye, friends. Farewell, the power that gives us the semblance of life is running out, and soon we will once again be but memories, living only in words, pictures, and songs. Alright, let's go, everyone. Making sure we didn't forget anything. So now we just got the manor to do. The mansion. We have to head back to the market square to finish up that quest. And then we're on to the Grey Garrison. Let's save. I think that is actually a good place to call it for tonight. That's adorable. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I am befuddled by this adorable kitty. That's so cute. Oh my god, this is so cute, you guys. This is true. All right, everyone. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Zim here to close this out for the night. Muted. Generous bestow. All right. Sorry about the uh, quiet here. Toshime, thank you so much for that donation. Uh, I really appreciate your support today. 
Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow with more streaming. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, all those things there on the website, as well as down in the description below. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really could not do it without you guys. Uh, do consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It's one of the best ways to support the channel. You can also do so by grabbing merchandise over at zgfgaming.store. Uh, but yeah, thank you again. Uh, Toshime, thank you so much for that support today, those gift subs and the uh, donation. Uh, thank you everyone else for joining. And I bid you the most fondest adieu. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Biddies!